Do you want to make more money? Of course, we all do. So find out how easy it is to train at home for a better career. Just get a pencil and paper right now and write down this toll-free number. There's absolutely no obligation and no salesman will visit you. At International Correspondence Schools, more than 10 million men and women have trained for job promotions and new careers without setting foot inside a classroom. And now at home in your spare time, you can get your career diploma. Choose from any one of these courses. ICS High School, Child Daycare, Interior Decorating, Wildlife Forestry, Auto Mechanics, Computer Programming, Medical Dental Office Assistant, Journalism Short Story, Dressmaking, Fitness and Nutrition, Art, Police Sciences, Gardening, TV VCR Repair, Animal Sciences, Firearms Repair, Travel Tourism, Electronics, Secretarial, Small Engine Repair, Electrician, Child Psychology, or get your diploma in Hotel Restaurant Management, Bookkeeping, Business Management, or Accounting. Compare your present salary with the money you could be making in any one of these careers. It will be repeated wow. for you at the end of this commercial. So have your pencil ready to jot down the course you're most interested in. Then call the ICS toll-free number, and we'll send you one of these exciting career packs absolutely free with all the information you need. Your career pack explains how easy it is to study at home. It tells you about the many success stories of other people just like yourself who trained through ICS Hello. and got better jobs. And that's not all. You'll also see the exciting learning materials included in your course at no extra cost. They make it easy and fun to train for that better career. Here are those courses again, so call today for free information. Call now for the free information Sally Struthers spoke about. Then decide if you want to train at home for a better career to make more money or advance in your present job. Call 1-800-637-9800. Operators are on duty now to send you free information by return mail. Choose any one of these exciting careers. That's 1-800-637-9800. Call now. Delicious. So nutritious. It's a taste delight. It's so munchy. Crisp and crunchy. You'll enjoy each bite. Eat butter drenched buttercup. Popcorn at its best. Served in a king size cup. It beats all the rest. Show starts in five minutes. Here's a new taste treat the corn dog. Plump, juicy wieners are dipped in a thick, golden, southern-style corn batter that seals in all their freshness and flavor. If you like hot dogs, you love corn dogs. Everybody does. Try a corn dog with your favorite beverage. At the refreshment corner now. Corn dogs. A gallon of tiny corn. You give me the biscuits! To add to your enjoyment, we're all wound up to bowl you over at intermission time with live wire service at our snack bar, where you'll find a tempting variety of favorite foods and beverages. Your continued patronage is very, very welcome. It's four minutes till showtime. Yum, yum. It's time for a tasty and refreshing snack.
promise to satisfy your hunger, your thirst, your sweet tooth. So visit our refreshment center now. Let's go. It's three minutes till showtime. Here's a choice of food and drink to satisfy anyone and everyone. You'll find something to please you to add to your evening's enjoyment. Something to please all tastes and age groups. starts in two minutes. It's refreshment time, folks. Taste that beats the others cold. Pepsi pours it on. It's refreshment Taste time. That, that beats the others cold. Pepsi pours it on. Get refreshed. Yum, yum. It's a meal in itself. Our all-meat super dog. Enjoy one now. Show starts in one minute. Today, we're interviewing a stomach. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. What is life like as a stomach? Oh, boy, it was humdrum. I mean, until what's-his-name discovered Tony's Pizza. Tony's Pizza? Yeah, I was suffering from the pizza cravings until Tony's came along. Crispy crust and zesty sauces. <laughs> wow. And so now... What's that? Hello. Another Hello pizza craving. Just thinking about Tony's sets it off. Oh, wh where are you going? He's going to get a Tony's Pizza. And I follow him anyway. Does your stomach send you pizza craving signals? Oh, wow. Tony's, the pizza craver's pizza. Available at the concession stand. <laughs> wow. Settle back now, content, comfortable, well-fed, and ready for some fine entertainment. Is everybody happy? Then let's go. Then let's go. It's not that good. It's, it's showtime. Happening. Showtime. There it is. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, whoops. -a I hit the buttons in the wrong order there. Little oopsie doopsie. Little oopsie doopsie to start the show. That bodes well. Bodes well for the rest of the show, doesn't it? How's it going, everybody? Welcome in. Another glorious Tuesday. I'm the ASC Shafty. KRS1G420. Good to see you, my friend. How you been? It has been a long time, no see. It has been a long time. Whoops, the days is wrong, but Jabby Daddy and his mom, Leslie, went to Ben and Jerry's today for free ice cream. How do you get free okay. ice cream? Did Thanks you rob for the all place? The fun. Oh, David Dave, thank you so much, my friend. Smooch is for you. Thank you so much for resubscribing. Oh, my goodness gracious, for 13 months. Hot diggity dog. Oh, it was a fundraiser? Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh, they banned you for hate speech, did they? Well, try a little bit more love speech, maybe. Maybe that'll uh, appease the Twitch lords. You know how they do. I got an email today, and it was like, uh, hey, we want your ideas for panels and things for the TwitchCon deal. Which, you know, just sent everybody on Twitch, basically. 
It's not like they was asking me, hey, soccer, what do you think? But I was like, man, that might be kind of fun. But what if I could, like, uh, pitch something really ridiculous? Yeah, really, KRS-1G. Man, what is the... What is... This is terrible. What's going on here? Sounds like somebody got shot in the leg or something like that. Whoops, wrong button. There we go. About to keep you company on a reasonably speeded walk. Simone, Sylvania! Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're having used a good walk. At a reasonable speed. On the sidewalk. Stay safe. Are you walking a, a pet? Are you walking with somebody? Are you walking... A, oh, sola mia! Either way, walking's good for you. That's what Pop Ball Sock says. Walking's good for you. You want to be walked, Uncle Jimmy's basement? Could somebody walk Uncle Jimmy's basement? That'd be really cool. If somebody could walk him. Uh, he definitely needs some exercise. He's been, he's been holed up all day. Oh, you're walking with me? Oh, that's right. I can read. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, clarifying that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Danny Manny also went on a reasonable speed of bike ride around the city with a new friend. All right. That's what I like. No, not laugh. Applause. There we go. There we go. Oh, I know you do some old Sylvania. Tuscan countryside kind of. Yeah, I could, I could imagine eating some Olive Garden to this music right here. I could have a tour of Italy. Did the uh, TwitchCon Euro have... I'm not sure. This is the one for, for San Diego. That's a lot more doable than going to that gum Amsterdam or whatever it is. I mean, excuse me, Amsterdam. You speak some Italian? Oh, do you really? Spaghetti mozzarella. Hey, you fed the cheat in the out of the fray, though. You're a dual citizen of San Marino and the USA? Wow, that's awesome. I'm just the I'm just the one citizen. Just the one citizen. Just one I only belong to one country. Isn't that boring? How boring. The Great Outdoors. The Great Outdoors. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for redeeming that movie review. Now that is a film. That I've never seen. But that won't stop me from reviewing it. Twitch uh, San Diego Twitch Corn is something you gotta pay extra for. To to, oh my goodness gracious, Twitch Corn? That does sound expensive. When you when you when you get the corn that twitches. It's sort of like those jumping beans, you know. There's probably bugs in there. Thank you so much for water and vern, David Dave. I appreciate that, my friend. Does have it. I think it was last in Germany. I think it's in Sept Septembre. Septembre. Speedeth thou not into the theater. A lot going on there. Thank you so much, Doc Rob, for rating. Look at you go. Bringing your friends in. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you uh, so much. Doc Rob, I'm legally obligated to ask you. How was your stream, my friend? How was your stream? I hope you had a grand old stream. Hope you guys was playing the jackbox. Hey, did you, did you do the uh, the duck race yet? Because I know you used to do a jackbox, and then you said you got the other game, and then you also got duck race. It was well attended and went real well. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Jamie, Jam and Danny. Give old Doc Rob a stream. I mean, to follow, because he does a stream. You play two races, but not tonight. What's going on, Dominator? E? Dominator E. E, capital E. Dominator E. Yeah, that's better. I like that better. Go go with take two on that one. When we make the documentary where I, where I pronounce people's names. Go with take two on that one. E! Dominator. E! Not like, not like dominatory. 
That sounds like some place that you would go to get a sandwich. I'm gonna head down to the the Dominatory and get one of those evil sandwiches. That that would be like the commissary in an evil villain's lair. The Dominatory. Dominator. E. E. One letter away from being Canadian. Dominator. A. E? A lot of ways to go with that. That's pretty good. I like that. And I, lo I love the use of uh, numbers instead of letters. I think that's good. I think I think we should do that more often. I think it, between that and then Prince's way of doing, uh, you know, the the letter, like he would always say four and stuff like that. Pretty good. Going to paint an E. Evil Villains Commissary is a chair, lunch, dinner. No dude sleeping the in the that. chair. No dude booted Calicot. Thank you so much, my friend. Yes, the videos. Twelve delicious bits. Twelve delicious Canadian bits. Dipped in maple syrup. Dominator E! Thank you so much for following, my friend. There we go. Appreciate that. Hope you had fun with uh, with Doc Rob. I'm very happy that uh, that you found Doc Rob. He's just getting started in his streaming gimmick. And I'm glad that things are going uh, pretty well. Seems to be going pretty well, Doc Rob. You stuck with it. It was off to, off to a slow start, as it always is. And then now you're starting to pick it up. Now I love that. I love it. I'm very happy for you. And I hope it uh, hope it keeps going. What's going on, Coltery Nico Chan? Good to see you, my friend. Doc is awesome. I agree. I agree. Could not agree more. We should have a uh, crooked references Mitch Hedberg bingo. Yeah, really. I, I forgot how to add new bingo things. I need to figure that out. Because there's several of them that have been suggested that I need to add. But. I forgot how. But I'll figure it out. i give it a Google. A dad joke. Oh, my goodness gracious. I found the book. The book is over there. I got to grab the book. All right, we got to get to some of these these gimmicks here. Merry Christmas wants me to review the movie The Great Outdoors, which is a fantastic film starring Jonathan uh, Candy. Jonathan Candy. And uh, I don't know who else. But I guess, I don't know, they go camping maybe? I don't know what they do. John Candy says, hey, let's, uh, oh, Dan Aykroyd is in it. That's right. So happy Reggie and Gadgie finally made it to your street. Oh, that's awesome. Reggie and Gadgie made it. So then they go, whoop! So I'm assuming that they decide to take their families camping. Sort of like summer rental. And then things that, uh, and then things go cattywampus. Maybe there's a, a bear attack or something like that. Or a mountain lion. Something along those lines. What's going on, Big Juice? Good to see you. So there's John Candy and Dan Aykroyd. They're right there with their, with their families in the tents trying to get back to nature in the great outdoors. Bears, yes, record. They, get, they do get attacked by bears. Oh, awesome. It had Tom Selleck? Oh, man. I bet that's where the raccoon lived in Tom Selleck's mustache. That'd be a pretty cozy place. I wonder if he was still alive, if he could put his mustache up on Airbnb. That'd be pretty good. Dan the Noid Ackroyd. Ake Ackroyd. Oh, did I say Candy Wampus? I don't remember saying Candy Wampus. But I guess I just did. So that's okay. You love it when the bat is in the cab. Oh my goodness gracious, the bat is in the cab. Always say that word. I don't think so, Jamie Danny. I don't think I don't think I ever say that word. Oh, I was had! Well, that's not surprising. Oh, he's still alive? Oh. I just assumed he was dead. 79! Goodness gracious. Well, any day now. Yogi Jules, how you doing, my friend? Smooches for you. Yogi Jules been having a grand old time. Posting some very funny things on the internet for me to enjoy. 
Domine or E, thank you so much for that bit, my friend. Smooches for you. Very kind of you. Very kind of you. A follow and then a bit. I'm not worthy. Not worthy. They uh they go out to dinner and Candy has to eat a giant steak to get free food for Oh my goodness gracious. I love that gimmick. I love the giant steak eating gimmick. They did that uh on King of the Hill. Where Bobby was dating a vegetarian. And then she broke up with him. And then he saw her at the at their at the restaurant. So then he dad gone uh did one of those steak challenges. And he did it too. Spoiler alert for a 20-year-old show. He did it. Thank you so much, Dominator. Eee! For that one delicious bit. Very kind of you. The old 96er. How are you doing? Suck up! I'm doing fantastic, Yogi Jules. How are you? You been doing your stretches? Daddy man, he saw the whole movie non-stop. Didn't even stop to go to the bathroom? Oh, my goodness gracious. Our old pal, Justin of the Blowhard, redeemed Sock Spear. And it's about... The total eclipse of the sun. Once upon a time, I was not behind the moon. But now I am behind the moon. You need to stretch more often. You've been painting for a week. Ugh. Oh, my goodness gracious. Painting. And not like the fun kind of painting where you're painting like houses. I mean, you know, like, uh, like flowers or something like that. Bank accounts are a scam uh, created by the shadow government. Well, I've got no uh, proof otherwise, so I just assume that that's true. Tomorrow is spaghetti day. Oh, man. Candy tries to cut the fat and gristle off, but is forced to eat it last. Oh, man. See, so is that, that's the last bit. He's got to eat the fat and the gristle. Ugh. When you put it like that. When you put it like that, it sounds very, very gross. Very gross. Hold up. Yeah, nobody touches the spaghetti. Don't touch that spaghetti. Oh, does it come with garlic bread? I hope it does. Oh, now I'm going to ask the... Ro oh, anyway, that's my review of The Great Outdoors, a fantastic film starring uh, Jonathan Confection. I mean, John Candy. Thank you, Dominator E. For that delicious bit. And I give it the perfect score of 10 spaghettis out of 10. Yes, indeed, yes. John Candy. Can't wait till his next movie. You was lucky enough to see the great outdoors at the theater. No, wrong button. Whoops. You're having tack toes. They're like tic tac toes. Are you X's or O's? Battling Bard, good to see you, my friend. Now I gotta ask the robot Can you write me a poem about the total eclipse of the sun? The sun was totally eclipsed. By the moon. Did you guys get to see that? In, ca in case I haven't told you yet, my uh, my view of the dead gum eclipse was not very good. Uh, where did I put it? I don't remember where I put it. No. No, that's not it. You spelled tacos run for funsy? Oh, my goodness gracious, Lola Frosty. I love that. I love tac toes. Thank you, Dominator. Eee! You saw it 100% just another blowhard? Did you use them uh, glasses? Or did you say, I don't need no glasses? And just look at it. Stare right at the sun. Stare directly at the sun. There it is. Here was my view of the eclipse. Cemetery Hills, you had it 90%. We had it, it was allegedly, 70-something percent. But uh, this is during the eclipse. Here's a picture I took. 
went outside, had the glasses and everything. Not a very impressive celestial event from where I was standing. The sides for tomorrow with spaghetti will be green peas, bead sticks, romaine spinach salad, Italian dressing, fruit, and Parmesan cheese. That sounds delicious. Delicious. You had about maybe 25% jam and dandy? Well, I don't well, you got to see more of it than I do. It got a little dark. It looked like it was gonna go like just start storming, that was it. So that's that. Yeah, it did not get as dark. Cemetery Hills didn't see it, it just seemed like there was clouds in front of the thing, you know what I mean? Like it was gonna storm. That's what it seemed like. But then it never did, then it just sort of gradually got brighter. But uh we're just trying to look out to see it. And couldn't see all these dadgum clouds. The clouds got to enjoy it. They were like, oh look at that, as they floated by, blocking my view. You still waiting for your superpowers? Well, any day now, I'm sure they're on their way. And those bleeds. That's right, says folks. <laughs> That's exactly right. I should have paid for the better tickets. <laughs> Like I was, I was nosebleed too far away. Yeah, I had the, I had the glasses. Not that it mattered. I might as well have just looked in a box, like any box, and I would have seen the same amount of eclipse. Yes, of course, Jamie Danny. Yeah, we got the Jamie Danny gonna call. You guys gonna use the uh, the phone, or you wanna do the video gimmick, or what? And uh, so I had heard that uh, the gist of the blowhard may call in. Phone? All right, cool. That's easier for me. I am down like a clown, Charlie Brown, for the telephone call. So now we just got to go over to the Soxpear area right here. Swap out the old thing. The last one was about uh, Vern and Rupert, which the robot knew mysteriously too much about. And this right here is a poem from Just of the Blowhard. Wanted to write a poem about total eclipse of the sun. Total eclipse of the sun. I saw that Midwest fish man. I saw that man. You ought to be. You ought to be selling some good hot dogs on that day. I did hear that Phil Gilmore. Good to see us. Beetlejuice. Yes, indeed. We're gonna open up the phones after the old socks. But oh, and I got to do a dad joke. Dominator. Eee! What's a dad joke? I know, Phil. I can't believe it. I could not believe that people was like wanting refunds. I was like, "What? What? Did somebody pay him? Or whatever?" Unbelievable. I couldn't see the eclipse. I want my money back for what? We gave you the, the hotel room. There was a window. It ain't our fault. I couldn't imagine. Could not imagine asking for the money back. Mm -mm. Thank you so much, Beetlejuice, for that rave. And Calicot, thank you so much for those four delicious bits. Smooches. Very smooches for you. Like those uh, Doge. Very bit much smooches. There you go. All right, here we go. Gonna do a little bit of the old sock spear. Let's get the fancy music going. Get in the mood for some art and culture. Pinkies up, everybody. Place your 3D monocles on now for full art experience. <clears throat> in the inky void, a sudden night, the sun's bright face, a vanished sight. The moon, a shadow round and deep across the sky, its course does sweep. Day turns to dusk, a moment strange, the stars peek out, a curious change. A corona's fringe, a pearly ring, the sun's fierce heart, it dares to sing. Birds hush their songs, the world grows cold. 
a fleeting darkness to be told. Then with a rush the light returns, the sun reborn its brilliance burns. A celestial dance, a fleeting show, nature's grand wonder here below. The eclipse ends, a memory made of sun and moon in perfect shade. Once upon a time, I was falling in love. Now I'm only falling apart. Nothing I can do. Total eclipse of the heart. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. That was a very powerful poem. Very powerful poem. Smooches for you, sorry, Bo Boy. Welcome in, my friend. Yeah. Total eclipse of the heart. That's always about vampires. Yeah, Midwest Fish Man, you're gonna sell a bunch. Sell a bunch of hot dogs on uh, April the twentieth. Man, that's a, I just can't think of a, a better place to sell hot dogs than outside of one of them hippy dippy shops on April 20th. And they're going to be doing like uh, like giveaways and stuff like that. Touch your dad gum heart. Well, sorry about that, Phil. I didn't, I didn't mean to touch your heart. I don't have a medical license to be touching hearts like that. So don't tell nobody. The doctor association would get mad at me. It's got to be 518. Good to see us. Good to see us, my friend. All right, I got to do a dad joke, but I got to grab the book, uh, which is over there. So if you'll pardon me for a moment. It's a super big show. Oh, man, that is awesome, Midwest Fish Man. Payday. That's what I'm talking about. Feed them. How were your, uh, didn't you uh, had some fish tacos? In celebration of your successful weekend, how were those? Oh, Doc Rob smoked oh. for you. Does five eighteen know about it? No, I don't think so. They may be related. May be related. We got a uh, we got a new friend, Dominator E. Sort of like Scotty B five eighteen. Both fun names to say. I gotta grab this book. We gotta entertain the people for me, Rupert. Entertain the peoples for me. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing great. Yeah, tell, tell them that joke uh, about the guy with the hat and the, <laughs> and the moose. <laughs> oh, there it is. Found it. Today's National Air Fryer Day? Well, no wonder that uh, Just Other Blowhard wants to call in today. He's probably been celebrating all day. I kind of figured you meant slaw and not claw, Midwest Fishman. I use my context clues. Phil Gilmore. Oh, my goodness gracious. Smooch is fused, my friend. That is so kind of you to say. That really is. And I really appreciate uh, you being here. Blow heart. Next call. Get the next caller before he even dials the phone. Oh, my goodness, Greg. <laughs> Your reputation precedes you, Blowhard. Oh, man. You know what? I haven't finished it yet. But you know what I started watching over the weekend? That, uh, that Fallout show. Oh, man. That is a great show. Love it. Those dadgum uh, video games are really fun. But I never really paid much attention to the story, you know? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apocalypse, blah, blah, blah. Shoot the monster things, go here, follow the stuff. I didn't pay attention. But the, but the show is, like, really good. I'm like, oh. Oh, now I understand. So that's why. Oh, man. So good. Oh, you enjoyed it? Feel good more? Oh, man. I haven't finished yet. I still got, like, three more episodes or something like that to go. 
You didn't see one guy fall out of anything. You know, I'm not sure if I... No, but they fell into uh, Vault 4 at one point. So I don't know if they fell out. But they did fall in. So, I don't know. That's something. Dad joke time. What do you get if you cross a duck with a firework? A fire quacker. <laughs> you and the girl burn through it in less than 24. Phil, I would have too if I didn't start it like around sunset time. If I would have started it more around lunch, I would have just watched the whole thing. Like a dadgum 10 hour movie or whatever. Who said, who said I made a bad joke? That's a great joke. You see, look how hard Jam and Daddy laugh. That's one, two, three. That's four ha's. Four ha's. One ha, that's, that's, that's mean. That's like, ha. Two ha's is like standard, like, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Three ha's is like, hey, that was pretty good. But four ha's? If you type four ha's at somebody, you was laughing. You was laughing. Lol, lol, lol. Yeah, if you got three lols in a row. Also very good. Dad, come on. What is with this... Awful yodeling. Why did the rabbits go on strike? Well, they thought they deserved a, a higher salary. <laughs> See, that's a play on the word salary, which is usually what is given to you in exchange for hours worked, is a salary. But see, rabbits, they, they eat celery. Which is like a it's like a it's like a vegetable. It doesn't taste very good. See Scotty B518, I don't know what to make of that. I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, oh yeah, Commodore Friday, but I uh man, I wish the drawing gimmick worked. I, I, I could draw you a little map. I think I think that would work much better as a as a far side panel. Here's one I don't get. I've never hunted bear, but I have been fishing in shorts. <laughs> oh, bear. Oh, yeah, the hunting. Like, uh, like uh, naked. Oh, okay, I see. I, I get it. It's not funny, but I get it. You got the apes, too? You got a case of the Barbarinos? Oh, ads! Oh, apes ad. Planet of the... Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Man, I was confused. You guys was talking about a whole planet full of apes. You know, having horses is a real... Nightmare. <laughs> Nightmare, you see. Because a man, that's, a, that's like another name for like a lady horse. <laughs> that, that, you heard one right there. There it is. Uh, here's another horse joke. Why did the Clydesdale give the pony a glass of water? That was very nice of the Clydesdale to do, by the way. <laughs> Clydesdale gave the pony... A glass of water because he was a little horse. Little horse. Little horse. Get your hands off of her, you dead gum dirty apes. What dog loves to take bubble baths? What dog loves to take bubble baths? Well, I'll tell you which one does. A shampoodle. Shampoodle, everybody. It's like a poodle. Nyala, oh, I'm so happy that you're here. You're just in time for the dad jokes. I was, I, that was the last one, but now I'm going to read 17 more. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Why do cows like being told jokes? Because they like being amused. <laughs> amused. Good to, oh, Nyala. <laughs> Chase Nyala away. St. Michael, there you go. 
the answering machine scared you? Oh my goodness gracious. I didn't even know I had an answering machine. You know what I saw at Walmart in the in the clearance aisle the other day? An answering machine. It was five dollars. Anybody need an answering machine for five dollars? I know I know where one is. I'm, I'm, it probably hasn't uh, sold yet. What kind? Right, this is the last one. This is the last one. What kind of fish will help you hear better? What kind of fish will make you hear better? Well, that 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 of course would be a herring aid. A herring. Those are also good for chopping down the largest trees in the forest with. Throw the sages, this says. Nyala, very much amused. I can tell, but that's the uh, the universal emoji gimmick for I'm laughing so hard that I may pass out. And then this is what I look like once I pass out. The The eyes. We're talking, and she said she loved... I knew it, St. Michael. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. She puts on a big game, you know, and talks about, oh, I don't like those dad jokes. But, it, but in secret, when nobody's, when nobody's watching... I think, I, th- I, think you, I think you're laughing. Little tee-hee slips out every once in a while. Tee-hee! Whoa! Gotta, gotta keep up appearances. Can't let them know. That I enjoy a good dad show. Believe it or not, George is in at home. Please leave a message at the beep. All right, turning the phones on now. There we go. All right. Let the chaos ensue. I did all the gimmicks, right? Did all, all the. Oh, the redemption game. Oh, there we go. Hello, Carl. You're on the air. How can I help you? Uh, bonjour, mon, mon ami. Hey, bonjour, mon ami. Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, quelle heure est-il? Uh, il est... Il est huit heures. Hmm. Huit Oh, mais oui, mais oui, mais oui. Euh, comment ça va? Euh, ça va, ça va bien. Et toi, comment ça va? Euh, euh, comme si, comme ça. Comme si, comme ça. Euh, aimes-tu le fromage? Fromage? Oh, j'aime le fromage. Oh, moi aussi. <rire> aimes-tu... aimes-tu... Les chats, hein? Aimes-tu les chats? Euh, les, oh, oh, les chats? Oui. Oh, mais oui. Euh, 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 je n'ai pas euh, 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 de chats. Oh, oui, oui. Euh, les chats chantent miaou, miaou. Oh, oui, yeah, uh, mais oui, oui, oui. Oh, miaou, les mm. miaou. Oh, oh, miaou. Oui, oui, oui. Euh... Qu'est-ce qu'il y a les animaux sur animaux de la jour? Oh, mais je, je, uh, je, uh, je have uh, un non 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 non. non. Uh, je uh, uh, do uh, shit do shit. Ah 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 non non non. Um, qu'est-ce qu'il y a le animaux du la jour oh, aujourd'hui du, ah animal du la jour ah mais oui c'est, uh, uh, c'est le mystère <rire> oh très mystérieux <rire> très mystérieux oui ok ah uh, um mm. oh là là un petit du vent uh, Aimes-tu des gâteaux? Gâteau? Gâteau is cake. It, uh... It's cake. En anglais. En anglais. Cake? 
No, I don't have any cake. Amibu de gâteau. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 je t'aime le, uh, le gâteau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, très bien. Très bon. Merci, uh, merci. Oh là là. <laughs> Mon ami. Ah. Uh, mm. Mm. Je, <laughs> je n'aime pas. Hello, Francis. Il est très bon. <laughs> That's about the extent of my French. Information right there. That's all. That's about all I know. That was push to the limits. That was push to the okay. limits. Okay. Uh, au revoir, mon ami. Au revoir, mon ami. Uh, 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 uh something. Bon demain. nuit. À demain. À demain. <laughs> totally. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, man. Man, I was reaching way back. Way back to high school French class. Oh, ho. Oh, ho. Oh, ho. Una baguette. Somebody touch my baguette. That's the French version of that quote. Oh. Yeah. They, when in doubt, if you try to speak French, just, just make funny noises. It, it probably means something. Hello, Carl. You're on the air. How can I help you? Danny, Manny, and James here. Danny, Manny, and James. <laughs> Come on, okay, so I mean, hey, how's it going? We're good. <laughs> so we were so, at least I was so happy Kutter and Nikachan called, but he was only speaking Francais. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, je ne parle uh, uh, pas de Francais. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, four things. Number one. Um, I, I cannot call you next, use next week because I'm going to, my mother and I are going to a, a Washington Nationals baseball game. Oh, that's going to be a lot of fun. It's at, um, say where it is. No, no, no. I wasn't going to say where it is. I was going to say what time it is. It's against the Dodgers, our favorite team. Oh, that, wait, that's her favorite team or your favorite team or both? Our favorite team. Oh, it's nice. gonna be. I think. I think when it ends. I think when it ends, um, you'll still be streaming. So honestly, I cannot call you next week. No. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah. I hope you All have right. a lot of fun. Are you gonna get a hot dog or something like that? Absolutely not. You're not gonna get I'm a hot dog. Know, not me. You know I like chicken tenders. Oh, you, do they have chicken tenders at the ballpark? I'm guessing they do. But I'm just going to get some water. I mean, it's Passover next week. So I'm just going to get some water. Oh, well, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. That sounds like a James lot of fun. Is the one, James is the one. You're the one who likes hot dogs, James. I like those fancy hot dogs. Oh, man. Yeah, they got some. Those ballparks, they come up with some fancy foods sometimes. They're all and like, like you uh, said, oh, look at this. It's like a two-pound hot dog with a, a half a gallon of chili and seven onion rings and also a salad on top of it. Like you said, it's a hot dog's cousin. Mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah. All right. All right. Topic number two. So mm -hmm. I was, um, so when I get my Twitch back this October, mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to do a, t a Twitch team name. The Edu, the Edu, the Edutainers. Edutainers? Oh, I like that. Half, half education, half entertainment, because, you know, you stream and do entertainment and education. Yeah, it's it's accidental education. I don't mean to, but it slips out sometimes. Richard, I said educate, edutainment. That's all I said, Richard. Edutainment. And, yes. And, and it's, you know, Weird Paul, he teaches a lot of stuff. And, you know, me going to stationary bike. Mm hmm. No, I'm not on Twitch yet, Ari Bobari. It's not even October. In October, he will. All right. Yes, thank you. Yes, well. my mother knows, but 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 she's um she's a little bit um, amused. In fact, October is my is when my birthday is, which sucks up right. the rest of you already. So. That's right. It's gonna be your big birthday party. No, you're gonna have a big birthday Ari party. Uh, belated. Ari Bobari. James is in charge of this of, of our account. I'm the yeah. one who, who usually is in the chat. 
That's why it's called James and Danny. Mm-hmm. James and Danny Man. Jam and Danny. That's why, Ari Bobari. That's why. And we finally got to uh, join your Discord. Yes, yes. Yes, happy to have you there. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a nice, reasonable speed place. Not a whole lot of speed yeah. and chat in that place. That way we could um, con- get we could be friends or hang out in person with, with, with you or Ari Bobari or, or, or Richard Calicott or Scotty Burnhour 518 or Pants O'Clock or anybody, you know? Yeah, anybody, yeah. It's, it's the gateway to friendship. It is. This is for Coterie Nickerson. I w- okay, topic number three. This is for, I know you will, Beetlejuice. This is for Coterie Nickerson. Mm-hmm. I went on a long bike ride with a friend on Sunday Sunday afternoon in the Mount Vernon Trail from Alexandria to to uh, Mount Vernon, where George Washington lived. Oh, man. Is that where he chopped down that cherry tree? Either there or his birthplace. Oh, okay. I don't know. They say he was a kid. I don't know why a kid was playing with an axe, though. That doesn't seem very responsible of Mr. and Mrs. Washington. Yeah. Um, of course you can, Uncle Jimmy's Basement. Of course you can. Uncle Jimmy, Jam, and Danny. I like that. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right. And finally, topic number four. Tomorrow, my mom and I, this has something to do with, think of my rear, by the way. Mm-hmm. My mom and I are going to a foreign relations committee meeting in D.C. tomorrow morning. Ooh. Yeah. That speaking sounds like of, fun. Be, will will be, there be snacks? Of, um, oh, I would love to. Merry Christmas. Um, no, no, no. It's um, it's private. It says no food, drink, nor, nor, ph- nor phone. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's very exclusive. Of, speaking of Israel, is Think of My Rear still there or did, he, or did he come back? I think he's back now. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think he's back. I think the last show he said he was back. But he is a globe trotter, that guy, so there's no telling. He's liable to be anywhere. All right. Because when I video called you two weeks ago, mm-hmm. I did I, I, I did tell him to be careful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, th- I think he made it back. I think I think he took your advice, and I think he was uh, quite careful indeed. All right. Okay, Beetlejuice, it's your turn. Oh, cool. Talk to you in two weeks, Sokka. Smooches for you, James and Danny. Have you a fantastic rest of your night, my friends. Okay. Okay. Smooches for you. Yes, Adidios, thank you so much. Danny Manny, ladies and gentlemen. Club Josh TV. Oh, my goodness gracious. Thank you so much for resubscribing. So hold on, let me let me get my glasses on. 36 months, hot diggity dog. Thank you so much, my friend. That. I'm blown away. That is a lot of months. Club Josh TV, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Is that three years? Have I even been on Twitch that long? Goodness gracious. Time flies when you're having fun, I reckon. Oh, man, time flies when you're having fun. And I do have fun. I sure do. Club Josh TV. Oh, my goodness gracious. Thank you so much. Uncle Jimmy's basement been following for one year, nine months, eight days, 21 hours, 54 minutes, and 57 seconds. That information is already out of date when it tells you the seconds. By the time it actually posts it, it's like another second added to it. Oh, cool. Claws on the ass. Yes, indeed. Sock, cop, and oh, my clock. goodness. Pants o'clock. Hooray! Thank you so much, my friend. Love you too. Smooches. 33 months. Hot diggity dog. Hot diggity dog. Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Boop, boop. Ba, ba, da, ba, do, ba, 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 do, ba, 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 do, ba, da, ba, da, ba. You know, I came up with a, with a song that went like that. It was like, hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. And then I was like, man, that's pretty good. I should probably like record that. And then uh and then one day Baby Sock was watching Mickey Mouse. And their theme song is like, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. <laughs> and I was like, Dad Govin, I accidentally stole a Disney song. You gotta call her. I mean, wait, no. Uh call wait, wait, no, wait, what do I say? 
Uh, oh, hello, Collie. You're on the air. How can I help you? Are you having a stroke or something? No, 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 no. no, no. I mean, just... do I need to? Do, do I need to? To contact the authorities? Or no, 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 no. Contact no. your next next of kin or something? No, like no, 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 no. Not not having a, a medical event. Not having a medical event. Just uh, you yeah, sure? J yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm just stupid. <laughs> That's all yeah, it I, is. well, we we knew that. Um, right, right, right. And I'm sorry to disappoint everybody in the chat. In the chat, you yeah. Me. Uh, but I wanted to make it a little announcement tonight. I wanted to do it in front of everybody and uh -oh. uh, along these lines. Um, this is probably the last time I'll be calling in this format to this what? show. What? And oh yeah, I know. It, you know, so no more next caller. No more any of this other stuff because um i don't know if anybody's heard the news i apparently made affiliate so now i've got to you know run my own channel and mm -hmm. do all of that mm -hmm. and uh if why give away for free what you know people can can watch me for so <laughs> there you um, go that's just smart right there that's smart right there yes you know, you know I'm, I'm i'm using you as my jumping off point and then dumping you when i get out of so, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's the, that's what that's that's, yeah, that's the business model. You ride the coattails, and then once you get to where you go, and you go goodbye coattails. Go Don't need you no more. Yes, exactly. So, um, you know, plus, I mean, and I, I and, and I mean this in all sincerity, you know, and I and I, I would not be where I, I didn't really, think it, but I feel very proud of myself. Um, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but uh, without your help and without this community that you have in the chat, um, I wouldn't uh, be where I uh, uh, be where I'm at. Oh uh, my goodness gracious! Thank you so, so much, and, and I and I thank you very much for that. I you got me through a very difficult part of my life into a very helpful part of my life. Oh, so, my goodness uh, not we're getting yeah, not we're getting too much into it, but uh, I, I just want to say that you uh, you've given me something to look forward to, uh, give me a sense of community when I needed it, uh, some friendships that I definitely needed at times, um, and just the uh, <laughs> this is going to sound like a backhanded compliment. But if you can do this, I definitely can. So it's, um, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, uh, that's great. Uh, no, that was perfect. That was a perfect thing to say. I was literally <laughs> about to tear up. I was about to leak water. <laughs> so I'm glad you added that yes, right there. Right there. Digital Dak, thank you. Uh, Welcome in. Thank you so much for following. We're talking to a good pal, Justin of the Blowhard, who is uh, doing very well on his streaming journey. Just made affiliate. I wouldn't Congratulations. say that. I think I got luckier. I, I think when you rated me last week, Mm -hmm. I think that's what put me off because apparently everybody in the chat went and then everybody, everybody's bots that, you know, you know, cause I had like 60 or some people watching. I had to turn it off because I was like, there's no way. And, but this past weekend I, I streamed a lot and I built Legos. So, you know, again, keeping my uh, reputation of using you as a, as a watching platform um, as of right now, it's going to be Friday mornings and Sunday mornings, oh, and good. I'll be playing like I'll be playing Legos. Playing I'll be Legos. Legos. Playing Legos. Well, I mean, that's what we're doing, really. Little kids play um, Legos. Real men, well, fifty-year-old men, build Legos. <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, Hello, that badge you make. Smooches for you, my friend. Good to see you. I'm not breaking up with Sock Cop Quartery. <laughs> I'm going to be here. And if we ever do anything together, I'd like to be in where Rupert's at or something along those lines. Oh, yeah, we can do where that. Or it's not just random, random middle-aged man calls in, and, you know, that type of thing, and have some sort of plan. I may even, like, hijack the show for once or twice. We've actually talked about that. Yeah, that'd be and, fun. Uh, we, 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 it never goes over about, well, but like, it's fun for me. <laughs> it goes over I mean... And I think that's one reason why we get along. It doesn't matter what everybody else thinks. As long as you find it funny, you know, you put it in there. Um, but. Uh, that seems to work so far. Oh, yeah. How long did me. it take you to build that yeah. Millennium Falcon? Uh, out of Legos. all day. So, basically, I started at 9 
on Sunday, and I got done with it probably about three or four. Um, with a few stoppings. Um, yeah, you had to go stir yeah. the crock pot uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. All right, this is not satire. I'm, I mean, obviously, if it was satire, I would not. I'm, I'm trying to get into more... I'm actually kind of somewhat overwhelmed because mm-hmm. I have to do a lot. I have to get a moat. I still don't know how to do, like, little things on your front page, like we call them, not tabs, but, like, little columns. Oh, yeah, like the little, uh, oh, what are they called? Panels or something like that. I forget what the, yeah, Panels it's a pain. or something like that. Pain in the There's book. a lot. And I'm, uh, and I'm using Twitch streaming. I'm not using OBS because I was like, I don't need to learn software. I'm just going to try to get something. I tried to go quick and easy just so I can get on there because, you know, you got to, you got to learn to drive the course before you build a great, great race car. You know, that, that's, that's that's true. Stuff. That's true. So I, 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 I'm nowhere going to be anywhere between you or Erica. Oh, oh, and Erica is nice enough to subscribe, and uh, so it, you know she's my she's my uh, founder, so to speak. So that's nice of her. Mm-hmm. Uh, but subscriptions always, uh, uh, you know, yada yada yada, self 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 self. Mm-hmm. But back to what I was saying. Um, Fridays and Sunday mornings, I'll be building Legos. Um, or, you know, doing something, because I have to do something with my hands or something. If I just sit there in front of the camera and try to entertain nobody, that's not going to work. Yeah, it's difficult to do. Uh, Very I, difficult to do. I, I So if I if I have something or it's like, hey, watch me build this, and then I can work my way up to Jibber Jabber Show that time. Yeah, um, there you go. Maybe and, people, and you, then, could, uh, you could do like uh, a wish list of Lego things. And have it uh, have it post every once in a while. Maybe somebody will buy you a Lego set. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, that would be very nice. Yeah. That would be very nice. That'd be very right nice now, gesture. I've got I've got three set. I got two more sets that need to be built. Mm-hmm. Uh, two big sets, and I just went and I bought like uh, a spree of little ones uh, that I might be doing one. Uh, I may be doing one tonight uh, after the show. Oh, uh, really? Okay. You know, so if you want to raid, if, if you want to raid me, please go ahead and do that. Um, because I'm trying to figure out scheduling. Definitely Friday and Sunday morning. But also, I'm gaming more. And I think Doc Rob and Reggie and Gadget were in on my gaming stream. And even though there's no, like, cam of me, I've got a headset and I can talk. And I can, and as you all know, I can talk about nothing forever. So that's not going to be... Oh, yeah, that's my whole issue. gimmick, too. That's why we get along so well. Thank so, you so much, Exodore Knox, for following, my friend. Yes, indeed, he owes. So you've been gay. What have you been playing? I'm not kidding. What have I been playing? Yeah. Well, you're going to be surprised. I got a bunch of the Lego games. I go nuts. Xbox has what's called basically almost like a Steam sale. Mm-hmm. So they will, you know, Ooh, sell older yeah. games. And I bought a lot of them. Like I spent fifty dollars this weekend or a couple weekends ago, and I got most of the Lego games. I got Lego Pirates, Lego. Um, uh, what did I got? I got Lego Pirates. I got the Marvels, I got most of the DCs, I got the Lego Batmans, I got Lego Indiana Jones, Ooh. and then I got like the, the, the uh, Ghostbusters game. So a lot of, you know, mid-range. I'm not playing AAA titles. Um, I did buy uh, the Bioshocks, which I've already beat one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to probably try to get into those. Um, something I could do a lot with, you know. I've been Game Pass, I download a lot of stuff. Uh, I did also buy Red Dead Redemption. Oh, that's As a you've heard one. me complain about this before, uh, I'd like to get the games, like the newer games, like Red Dead or things like that, but I can't get past the 30 minute, sometimes two hour introduction that you're just basically watching a movie. Oh, yeah. Quick yeah, time yeah. Event. That, that really bugs me. Smooches so, feels jamming, Dan. That's why I like. And yes, Badger makes. That's very good. You got to have that brand consistency. Build Lego sets, play the Lego games. Next thing you know, you got some dead gum uh, Swedish people being like, "Yeah, we should Swedish pay people. this man," or whatever. Wherever Lego, yeah, from. well, I would like it because Lego, Lego movie. See, I mean, I've always been in building Lego, but when I first bought the original Lego Star Wars, I thought there was something about this game that I really enjoy. Yeah, and yeah, I those got games really are fun. It and, I got, and then. When the Lego movie started to come out, I was really excited about it because I saw inside of that movie, this was what I saw, uh, what was in the game. You know, that sense of humor, that sense of, you know, wink, wink and a nod and that type of thing. And then Lego movie, the first one, 
is actually one of my favorite movies of all time. It was such a great film. Actually, I think it's one of the best films of the last 20 years. Um, and I say that oh, as wow, a film. Oh, wow, that's high praise. Not, I'm, I'm not saying that as, like, you know, Lego fanboy. I'm saying that as a film a film bro, you know. Bean Goose, oh my goodness uh, gracious. Yeah, that's that's throwing it back. Um, Did you ever play that one, Lego uh, Island? No, was, I didn't. That was a computer I did, game. I did, I did download uh, Lego Fortnite, but I've tried Fortnite before, and it's just, it's not me. Uh, I remember when Fortnite was called uh, Team Fortress 2, uh, uh, and, you know, that was fun. Um, oh. I'm also thinking about, and you were wa- you were watching it, I need to watch it too. I never got into these games, but the Fallout games, oh. I know about the games. I remember when, I remember when Fallout was a real-time strategy game. Uh, so basically, Fallout and World of Warcraft are basically the same. Whereas, you know, uh, oh, cool. Warcraft was always real time strategy until, until World Jolt Warcraft. Joel Freak is great because Joel until, Freak gifted uh, a subscription to CBM 321. Like <laughs> Thank you so much, Joel. I'm sorry, Freak. I'm not. I appreciate uh, that. No, you're Merry doing Christmas great. Is on my face now. now she's haunt shoe. Lego, way, Lego haunt shoe. Heard... <laughs> I, I heard. Do you have a? Do you, was, can you make I, a build a Lego pillow for Merry Christmas to lay down upon? Um, Guys, she needs to take a nap here. I, so, so Ari, being the sweet girl that she is, showed me a picture of what they had at at, uh, at Target, and they had like a full functioning typewriter. Oh, I, I saw like, that. I yeah, want yeah. that. Wait, it actually and, works. And I, I think it did. Oh, um, well, for the I, price, it's be... better because you could definitely get an actual typewriter for for less than that. Mm-hmm. Silver Jim says that Lego uh, Fortnite is not anything like regular Fortnite. I didn't know that. Well, whatever it is, I'll see where I'm at. But get wrecked at Joel like, Freak sometimes at night, when there's no like, real rhyme or reason to it. It's like whenever I get bored, I'm going to play. Because um, the way I look at it is uh, if I'm going to sit down and play a video game just by myself, mm-hmm. why not stream and try to have some some aspect of it? It's the same thing with these Legos. It's like I've got all these Lego sets and I'm going to build them. So I'm going to sit down at my kitchen table and build them and listen to music. Or I could have cameras on and have people, you know, part of that too. So it's not more of a, um, not what you do here. It's probably going to come. It's probably happening. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe, hopefully, knock on whatever this is made out of. For my um, But, yeah, whatever. Uh, but, uh, you know, and. I'm not out this for money. I'm not out this for fame. I, I, I am. I am well. Brenda Farpulous. I've been in this. There's and, Brenda Farpulous. And Dop Online, thank you so much. Subscribing for nine months. We now officially have a Twitch baby together. Thank you so much, my friend. No, you're getting there. You're getting there. And I love that. I love that. And I love the confidence I'm, too. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting shade from Ari. Ari, Ari, you know what, Ari? I deserve it for as much shade as I give you. Mm-hmm. But I, I, as I said, I, I, I love you uh, or anything like that. Cheers Plus, at Cala underscore This is going to be my last call for a while. I'm going to milk it for everything I've got because, you know, I, I don't want to pay $50 to make the stream doubt about me again. So um, You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity that comes once in a lifetime. You better be no, a blowhard. Build Legos, exactly. play you know, games so. on a Twitch. You better never let it go. <laughs> Woo! Exactly. Um, so, anyways, back to I, I got two more sets to build. Uh, this either Friday morning, I'll probably start my Mandalorian. Uh, everything I've got, because you know I don't, I don't want to pay fifty dollars to make the stream doubt about me again. So um, you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity that comes once in a lifetime. You better be no, a blowhard, I, I, build Legos, exactly, play you know, games so. on a Twitch. You better never let it go. <laughs> Woo! Exactly. Um, so, anyways, back to I, I got two more sets to build. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a pretty fun rewind. <laughs> Thank you so much, Uncle Jimmy's basement. That was fun. <laughs> Glad, glad I was able to uh, uh, to relive that moment, but uh, but you were saying something fascinating. What was saying it? Something, yeah, whatever, whatever. Like nobody's listening. No, my second one I'll probably get started this Sunday is the R two D two, which is massive. R two D two thousand some odd pieces, Ooh. and it's huge. So that might keep me to a stream 
Because I built a piranha plant. The piranha plant took a lot less time than I thought it was going to. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, oh my God, what am I here? So, you know. But again, I want to thank you and I want to thank you for your support. Smooth. And I'll probably be um, hanging on you for support outside uh, of this in terms of, uh, you know, because now we're peers. Uh, ha, ha. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, we all peers. In that aspect of it. Um, and then, for uh, again, anybody wants to come and support me and jibber jabber and make fun of me, I know Merry Christmas will come and just like, uh, just give me the take a take a oh, of me. Oh, oh, she's sorry. great. Uh, if that was, wow, but, damn, coming, I got hit by a VHS tape. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Well, it's not my fault. It was your fault. fault. Yeah. Paid, you? It was your fault. Um, but. You know, so, and, you know, again, we could stream together or anything like that, so. Yeah, I'm down uh, with that. Uh, yeah. It is Smoke. what it is. So, and again, I want to thank everybody and everybody in this room, and thank you for starting me on this journey, um, and all of that. It's it's actually a very, very lovely, I'm not going to be as curmudgeon as I should be today. Oh, I will man. be. I appreciate probably. that. That's, a, that's, yeah, it's, it, it makes me uncomfortable. I feel like, uh. I'm like, wait a minute. What's what's the angle? What's the angle here? There's no angle here. But I but there's I know no there's not. Here. I know there's not. But I appreciate that. Uh, That's very. Angle good. Is just I hope you have a, a very you know, talking about me. Very successful time and uh, and have a lot of fun. That's the important part. I mean, I did have a lot of, of fun this past weekend. So. All That's right. All well, about. I'll let you get back. And, and I was going to share a picture with you. I might share a picture with you later. Uh, it's, it's, it's mean, and I can't really say it here, uh, um, but it made me laugh, and uh, I will send it to you, and you'll probably laugh as well. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. But I, I will get back to you about it later. Uh, hi, so, uh, anyway, I will talk to you later. All right, smooches for you. We'll see you later, Just Another Blue Heart. Smooches. Smooches for you. There we go. Yes, indeed. Just Another Blue Heart, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for calling in. That was That was the closest. We did it. That I've ever gotten to tearing up on the screen right there. Those are some very nice words. Very nice words. I was I was almost there. I was almost to eye leakage level. You son of a gun. All right, we got a uh, phone call here. Who is this? Hello, hello, caller. You're on the air. How can I help you? Hey, it's Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice! What's going on, my friend? It's doing pretty good tonight. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. You're doing pretty good. How was your weekend? What did you go see? Oh, uh, well, this weekend I saw, uh, on Saturday, and, uh, I did two shows on Saturday, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, so the first one was, um, Madagascar, a musical adventure. Wait, like Madagascar, like the, uh, like the computer animated movie? Yeah. What did they do? Did they have, like, people dressed up or what? Yeah, they did. Man, that sounds awesome. How was it? Uh, that was fantastic. I like that one. Oh, that's really cool. I like that one better than um, Beautiful. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's good. Is that the other one that you saw, Beautiful? Uh, no, the other one I saw was the, the last, the last uh, Yiddish speaker. The last Yiddish speaker? Yiddish speaker. Oh, Yiddish. Yiddish. Oh, Yiddish. Oh, okay. Like the uh, like the old. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I thought you said Yiddish, like somebody, somebody that like spoke Yeet. Oh, like, like they, like they Yeeted people. Yeah, I thought you said last Yiddish. Yiddish. Well, um, Yeet. Should I tell you what that was about? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, uh, that was about um, what if, what if the um January sixth interruption was successful. Oh wow, they they wow they worked quick on that one. That was just a couple years ago. Does it have like songs and stuff too? No. That's oh, there's no song. Not a, they, that's they, not a that's not a musical. They that don't do a musical. They go. We took over the country. We did the things. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> that's where really the probably a song if that was if they made that. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I'm glad it's not uh, not a musical. Bit. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't turn that into me. <laughs> it was a play, like a full-on, you know, drama play. So, you know, so which that. one? Which one did you see first? 
Oh, um, I saw Madagascar was at 11, and then uh, uh, the the Yiddish Yiddish speaker one was at two o'clock. Oh my goodness gracious! What a, what a change in tone from the Madagascar. So you were watching people that were dressed up like uh, like uh, ring-tailed lemurs and whatnot, running around, having animal adventures, escaping a zoo, and then all of a sudden you go to a very, very serious play. Yeah. It was wow. good, though. I, I was going to go see a different... I, on Sunday, I was going to go see a different play. It was called... Um, oh, what was the name of it? Um, called uh, was the... Was um, it? The Good Person... Of Szechuan, it was called. The good person of Szechuan? Yeah. Oh man, I, um, love, I love Szechuan food. But that, that didn't, that play didn't happen that day because I, I got down there, I went on the website and I found out it, 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 the uh, performance was canceled for that day because due to an actor's sick, sickness. Oh no, that's a bummer. Yeah, so I went to see, uh, so I had a, I went to see the last sheet of speaker again. <laughs> Look at you go, man. That's awesome. I saw that twice. Then I saw the year of speaker one twice. Wow, that's a, that seems like a like a very intense thing to go see twice. Like it wasn't like emotionally like I don't know. It just oh, seems emotionally like, taxing, you know. It, it you know there was like sad parts to it. You know there was sad parts to the show. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, there was sad parts in the show. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. glad that you had fun, though. That's the important part. As long, long as you had a grand old time. Well, tomorrow I'm going to go see uh, The Good Person tomorrow. The Good Person? What's that about? A bad person? Um, you know, the, the Good Person of Szechuan. I'm going to see that tomorrow. Oh, the Szechuan. Oh, okay. There you go. Thank you. I'm seeing that one tomorrow. Um, it's. Oh, uh, You know how long it is? Want to know how long it is? How long it's, is it? Um, how it's long is it? It's, um, it's three hours and 45 minutes long with one intermission. Hot diggity duck. One intermission? Yeah. Good Lord. Well, you better not drink too much. Thank you so much, Smoot, <laughs> for eating those bots. Oh, my goodness gracious. Three hours and 45 minutes with one intermission? Man, yeah. that'd be... It's like, it's, it starts at 2 o'clock, and they said it won't be over until, like, uh, 5.45. Good lord, man, that's that's a long play. I don't know if he, I don't know if you can sit that long, right, for a play, right? I, it better be a dadgum good play if I'm gonna sit there for that long. That better be, that better be the entertainment. Better be coming hot and heavy if I'm gonna be sitting there for three hours and forty five minutes, and it not be a wrestling pay per view. <laughs> oh, did you watch? Uh, did you watch uh, Monday Night Raw last night? I did. Yeah, I did watch Monday Night Raw. Yeah. Oh, did you see um, Chad Gable's fight? Oh, my goodness, great. Yeah, he came out there and started beating up on old Sami Zayn like that. Right in front of his wife. Right in front of his wife and kid. Yeah, um, and he, well, Gable, uh, Gable lost, right? Yeah. Said Gable. I, that's the guy I met, too. He that is the, the guy that you met. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, surprised. thank you. Now, yeah, now he's a bad guy. Yeah, I'm surprised he wasn't, uh, Otis wasn't there. Yeah, I guess old. They still maybe they want Otis to still be a good guy or something like that. Oh, yeah, I that found was... out they stream on Twitch. You know that, right? Who streams on Twitch? Um, uh, Otis. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that Otis I... streamed on Twitch. It, I knew that. Well, uh, I knew a couple of wrestlers they're... did, but I didn't know about Otis. The uh, the the count is um, uh, the Twitch channel is called uh, uh, the Alpha Academy. Oh, the Alpha. Yeah, that's the gimmick on the old uh, wrestling thing there, the Alpha Academy. That's the name of their Twitch channel. That's too. awesome. I'll have to uh, have yeah. to check that out. Maybe we could raid him one day if he's on. Something yeah. Like that. That'd be fun. And then he'd be like, Oh, I suck. Cop, thanks for raiding. And then move on with his life. That's usually how it <laughs> works if I raid somebody like that. Yeah. You ever raid like, someone with like, thousands Ooh, of viewers? Yeah. You know, like people with thousands of like, 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 you know, like, um, you know how, like, people, like, have thousands of viewers in the Twitch chat? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think, I don't, I don't think I've rated anybody with thousands of people. I think I have, I think the, probably the biggest person that I've rated was, uh, Sushi Dragon. He had, like, six or seven hundred people that were watching. That's probably, like, the biggest thing. But he's still 
took the time to do a shout out and he said oh hey sock up thanks for raiding i'm like dad you got 700 people and i brought you 20 and you still say thanks for raiding i thought that was pretty cool because i've raided and, um, people that only had like 20 people watching and, and uh, i brought like 30 and then they're like oh was there a raid i wasn't paying attention anyways uh, in blah, case blah, blah, so blah. in case so uh Keso streams and he has like uh like thousands of people watching him you know his stream you know that streamer i tell you about Keso? oh okay yeah him. yeah yeah no i haven't watched that i haven't watched that but he, i know about i remember funny. you you told me about it yeah he's funny he's he's uh um he uh he he's a, a a good streamer like he's like somebody like like um only like notices messages every once in a while you know mm -hmm. he's he, oh, he's yeah, more yeah, like yeah. he's more like the ones that like make jokes he's um yeah he makes yeah. a lot of jokes yeah there's de there's definitely different styles and things people do different types of streaming server people like certain things and Certain streamers do oh. certain things, you know, it's a, and that's oh. the great thing about it. It's just that there's so many, you know, so you can and always Sunday, find something you like. And on Sunday, I'm going to go see uh, Pinocchio. Pinocchio? Yeah. About the puppet? Yeah. And he turns into a real boy? Yeah. And he lies and his nose grows? Yeah. And he gets eaten by a whale? Yeah. And he's made by Geppetto? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna that's be funny. fun. Uh, what? What? How are they gonna do the nose gimmick? You gotta tell me how they I, do the nose true. gimmick. Is it I, gonna be like a I robot don't... nose, like a car's I kinda, antenna? I kind of looked at. I saw like a photo of the set online. It looks mm -hmm. kind of like a. It's like a warehouse. A warehouse. You know, a warehouse. Yeah, a yeah, warehouse. yeah. I just don't remember a warehouse in the in the Pinocchio movie. Yeah, I mean it looks uh, interesting enough. <laughs> oh yeah, spoiler alert for Pinocchio. I know it only came out like seventy years ago, so if you haven't had a chance to see it, spoiler alert for Pinocchio. Did you ever see the remake? Did you ever see that remake they did? did you see Which that one? Remake? The, the one most, they oh, the most on, recent one. Yeah, the one they released on Disney Plus. That no, one. no, I didn't see that one. Was it good? Um, I, I didn't see it. Oh, okay. I remember <laughs> I remember the one that they came out with one that was uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas was Pinocchio. You remember that one? Uh, no. Oh, that may have no. been before your time. Um, oh, did you, are you, are, did you see the trailer for Joker 2? I did see the trailer for Joker 2. Yeah, 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 I did. I loved it the Joker good, movie. I, yeah, I don't really know what to think about the Joker 2 trailer because it seems like... Because obviously it's at the end of musical. Joker, he d he did a murder. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's good. That'd be right up the alley. But well, he does he does murdering at the end of the Joker one. He gets arrested. So then he's like in a in like a the psych ward or whatever, and he meets Lady Gaga, and then it's like well, and then they show them like having a show like in their own thing. So I wonder is the whole thing gonna be a dad gum like illusion? Like you know a what dream? Mean? Yeah, like, like a, a dream, dream sequence. Oh, is that gonna be yeah, the whole movie? Like I hope good. not. Because like, because imagine be like at the end of the film, be like, oh, it was a whole dream. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm worried about. I don't want it to be, you know. If they're gonna do it, spoilers. then I want them to have a thing. Oh yeah, spoilers. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's right. The first one. That's right, because Nine Legion. First... Is it because of the first film? What well, you know? Is I don't know. I like the first it? film, but and I think I think I think musical. I think. I don't know. I think they're definitely going to be like doing, like singing some songs and things like that. But I don't think it's going to be a musical like, uh, like you know, like Rent. Well, they said like it's going to be. Uh, it's, it's a jukebox musical. In the jukebox. What does that mean? A jukebox musical? I never heard that. Um, not original songs. You know, like songs that already exist, like pop songs and stuff like that. They'll be singing like pop songs and uh, oh. rock songs. Oh, rock well, okay. Well. I don't know. I mean, they, it, it, I'm going to go see it. So, you know, they got me with that. That's right. <laughs> Legion, oh my goodness gracious. It went from we, we live in a society to we live in a society with Lady Gaga and what's his name? That kind of sounds like a song that would be in there. <laughs> yeah, it may be. I don't know. Uh, you know what we need? We need a sock cop the musical. I would love, man. 
All I need, the only thing stopping me from making Sock Opti musical is uh, the talent to make a musical. That's the only thing stopping me. Like you know, like instead, of, like like maybe uh, one day, like just you know, doing like instead of like a regular screen, a stream, you mm -hmm. know, like usually do one stream, like do like a uh, a musical stream, you know, where you just like come on and start singing. Oh, <laughs> that would be so much fun. Yeah, maybe maybe we could do a musical at SockCon. There you go. Uh, uh, what con? At SockCon in Pittsburgh. Are you doing that? Yeah, I'm going to Pittsburgh. Doing... Uh, I don't have the dates nailed down yet. It's going to be probably about the the, the fall time. I'm going to go to Pittsburgh. Well, and, well uh, I'm not going to be able to make it out to Pittsburgh. Well, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. You'll be there in spirit. <laughs> yeah. You'll be yeah. there in spirit. Yeah, turn off the sides, right, please. <laughs> hey, even if you can, uh, stream it on Twitch if you can. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. I'm trying. If I can get it all together, I would like for it to be sort of like a uh, an event. You traveling to see? No, Adam Lucidi Smoot lives in. Uh, he lives in Texas now, so he ain't he ain't in Pittsburgh no more. But uh, where but even we, is Pittsburgh? Where is that? <laughs> it, Pittsburgh is in uh, Pennsylvania. Have you ever heard of Pennsylvania? Oh yeah, yeah. No, oh, okay. Yeah, it's in uh, it's in Pennsylvania. And then, I want to try and see if I can work it out to where maybe like the Weird Paul Rock Band plays, and then may and then maybe I'll play. Maybe we'll rent out like a. Where are you Where are you gonna have it? Like at a, like a, I guess like a convention center out in Pittsburgh, I'm guessing. Or well, not a convention center. It'll be sort of like a, uh, probably more like a like a bar area or something like. That. There's a place called the Bottle Rocket that uh, that seems to do a lot of places with, or a lot of things with Weird Paul and them like that. Yeah, it's on the Pittsburgh? left side of Pennsylvania. Yeah, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. But maybe I'll run into uh, uh, Michael Keaton. Who knows? I'm glad. I'm glad you still see his uh, reels and Muttley memories. Smooth. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Why do you say you're gonna run into Michael Keaton? <laughs> he because he's from Pittsburgh. He, I don't think he lives there now, but. Oh, 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 okay. But he's from Pittsburgh. Oh, how is um how is Vern doing tonight? How is Vern doing tonight? That's a good question. I haven't asked him. He's been watered a couple of times, so I appreciate that. I know Diver Dave watered him. Uh, Jolt Freak watered him. And uh, he very much appreciates that. How you doing there, Vern? Mm -hmm. Oh. Vern said he's doing fantastic. Because it's now starting to turn into uh, springtime. Weather's getting a little bit warmer. The sun's getting a little warmer. So plants really like this time of year. I don't know. Do you, do you ever do a, a garden, Beetlejuice? Uh, no, no. You never planted a garden? Well, now is the time to get a good garden yeah. going. If, uh, if you if you were interested in, you know, growing like, uh, I don't know, a cabbage or something like that? Yeah, yeah. You never grew a cabbage? Uh, not cabbage, no. Uh, never yeah. grew, no, never grew any, like, um, uh, um, yeah. Have you ever grown anything? I mean, uh, uh, uh. Like flowers grew. But oh, flower. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No flowers. That counts. That counts. I was just curious. I was just. Curious. You just said you wasn't uh, a gardener. No. no. So I was I just mean, curious. Yeah. Ari Bobari grew a person. That's true. He did grow a person, Ari Bobari. I've never grown a person. You ever grown a person, Beetlejuice? <laughs> no. <laughs> I haven't either. So that's good. <laughs> So we have that in common. Hey, uh, hey mm -hmm. um, what is that background tonight? <laughs> you know what? It's sort of like an abstract sort of uh, thing. I'm not real sure what it is. It's it's actually hard to find good backgrounds that move to add visual interest, but don't move too much to be distracting. And I feel like this is a pretty good medium right here. It moves. Oh, it, oh is it that moves just around. another blowhard emote? Yeah, did you I see just... that? Look at that. That's what he looks like. I've been in the stream once. He's, he's, he's oh, cool. you stopped by? Was he building some Legos? Uh, well, uh, this is a while ago, like a couple, uh, like a month or two ago. Or, oh, well, okay, yeah. Or two, three months ago now. It's been a little bit. Je grow le tomate et la basil. Ah, je, uh, uh. Didn't he said he he was affiliate now? He yeah, was... he made affiliate. Isn't that great? Congratulations. Yeah, congrats, Mr. Metal Blowhard. 
Oh, thank you so much for saying that, Billy. That's very kind of you. I love that. That's that's a that's a lot of work to get that. <laughs> it really is. You know what I mean? Like it's uh, you gotta. It it takes a minute. Are are you affiliate? Are you yeah, affiliate I'm an affiliate. Now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the like the blue check on it? Like the blue that one? No, blue? no, no, no. That's that's part there. Oh, that's part. If you got the if you got like the purple check thing. That's what a, does uh, the affiliate do? What is that? That's sort of like a middle ground. So basically. Affiliate, that means that you can, uh, people can give you bits, and you can do channel oh. point things, and you can have emotes, stuff like that. It's basically... Oh, okay. Yeah, like when you first start your account, and, and they do it to, to try to keep out, like, robots and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So you have to, you have well, to you stream had a, you a had to ban out, ban people in chat before, right? You had to ban Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you had to ban out. Yeah. Oh, and I also, um, uh, I, earlier to say, uh... Uh, when when we when you started streaming, I messaged you about the uh, sock cop uh, ticket thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh if wait, you, got you that did? Message. Oh, you messaged me? No, I didn't see it. Okay. At the start of the stream? No, I didn't see that. Uh, uh, oh wait a minute, there it is. Here's the address. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't send it to you. Um. Oh, I didn't. I didn't receive it yet, at least. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. There we go. Yeah, no, I'll get that for you. Earlier to say, uh, oh, we're going to rewind. Uh, when, we, when you started streaming, I messaged you about the uh, sock cop uh, ticket thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know oh, if wait, you, got you that did? Message. Oh, you messaged me? No, I didn't see it. Okay. At the start of the stream? No, I didn't see that. Uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. There it is. Here's the address. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't send it to you? Um, oh, oh I yeah, didn't, no, I'm I didn't here. Receive it. We're just doing the reward. Oh. There, all right, there we go. All right, there we go. Now we're um, Oh, you'll be, that you'll be able to send that. that yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll send that though. to you for sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll send that ticket it, out. It's free, right? That's free. Oh right? yeah. Oh yeah, one hundred percent free. Yeah, all you got to yeah. do is uh, is ask and be awesome, and you are both of those yeah. things. Well, it, well, it says on it. What is it says? You're going a little fast there. Yeah, it says she's it, going a little fast back there. Let me pull one out for you. Wait, hold on. Here it is. This is what it says. It says you was going a little fast back there, and it's got my picture on it. There we go. There it is. And also, uh, I sign it right there. Oh in yeah, that, I like that. that big blank uh, is that space. a barcode? Is that a yeah. barcode there? Yeah. What's that barcode for? That's a QR code that takes you to my website. Oh yeah, sockoprocks.com. That's exactly right. Yes, the videos. Phil says well, uh, his sock up ticket is on his fridge. Oh my goodness Aww. gracious! A place of honor, my friend. Every time you go and get a uh, and get some cold cuts for your sandwich, you're gonna see my ticket. He um, well, you do rock. You do oh, rock. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. That means a lot to me for you to say that. I think you rock Beetlejuice. Okay, I um, I'm always I um. Not to be weird, but I was mm -hmm. wondering. I noticed this name on uh, before, like called uh, on your Instagram when you follow me. It said like at the top. I don't know why it said it. It said like Jason something. Is that someone who works for you? <laughs> oh, Jason Burglar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's the useless assistant. That's that's the who? The useless assistant. Oh, that's just useless assistant. Your useless assistant. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a useless assistant. He, uh, I guess what does he like help you run the Instagram? I'm guessing or yeah, or, uh, he's, well you know he's supposed to help out, but doesn't really uh, doesn't really do much. Hey, sorry I asked who that was. If that's okay, I hope that was okay. Asking. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. It's okay. It's mm -hmm. okay. To oh yeah, totally. Okay. Totally. Because I was always curious. I was like, who's this? <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's just that's just that. Uh, you know, don't worry about that guy. You just say just what, because guy. what you say? What about him? No, he's just some guy. He's supposed to help, but uh, but he doesn't really do much. <laughs> not not very good. Yeah. Um. Uh, how is Rupert doing? How is who? You know, Rupert. 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 Oh, he's doing. He's doing spectacular. Rupert is the always dog. great. Rupert's probably like the happiest guy that I know. Whoops. Is he trapped in that TV? <laughs> no, he's not trapped. He's not trapped. He can leave anytime he wants to, but he uh, he doesn't want to. He has a grand old time. I guess he likes that TV. Right? He really does. Yeah, he really does. He's a yeah. big fan of that one. 
Well, thank you so much um, for calling that Beetlejuice. I'm going to let you go. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But I appreciate I'll, you calling in, my friend. I'll, I'll tell you how the play is tomorrow, okay? I'll tell yeah, you how that, that sounds that good. Is. That I'll, sounds um, good. I'll let you know how it is. I, I'll, you know I always do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course. And, um, it, it's the, uh, well, I'll be, it won't, it's a longer show. It's uh, what, what, it's mostly like four hours, to be honest with you. It's like three hours and 45. That's, so. that's, that is so long. So long. Yeah. To be watching a thing. But I hope you enjoy it. Either way. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, one more chance. I can't remember if I asked you this, but uh, how long have you been a, a sock cop? Oh, uh, over a hundred years. A hundred years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's time travel involved. It's like a whole different type of deal, but... Uh, so you're kind of like from the past, too, I guess? Yeah, yeah, or? yeah. I'm from the past, and I sort of like, uh, you know, there was a, a time-traveling caveman. A caveman? <laughs> yeah, time-traveling caveman. He sent me to the future, and uh, there was a whole thing. There's, like, there's a lot of lore to it, you know. He's a hundred. You're 138 years old. Yeah, 138 years old. Can you believe it? But like I said, <laughs> time know, travel's involved, so. You do not look that old. You well, thank like, you so uh, much, my friend. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's very kind of. Um, you. Yeah. <laughs> very kind of um, you to say. Uh, well, I'll uh, recommend someone to raid tonight if that's okay. Oh yeah, please do. Um, oh, I was thinking, uh, who's on? Hey, did we ever read, uh, Keebs by chance? Did we ever read him? Who? Uh, Keebs, K-E-3-B-Z. Um, I don't know. Doesn't sound familiar. Um, but if we can read him tonight, could we read him, Keebs? What is it? K-E-3, what? K-E-3-B-Z. K E three. BZ? Yeah, Keebs. Keebs. Yeah, Keebs. That's like a, the like a Like a Keebler elf. <laughs> that's, that's the name of the uh, Twitch streamer. Oh, okay. That's his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It, well, it's just, you know, it's just one of your streamers so we can all just read them, too. <laughs> gotcha. Um, oh, I followed but, this Keebs guy. Maybe we did read him before. Oh, we must have. But I don't know if you always like like to read the same person, right? So I don't know if we're gonna read him. Yeah, I like to mix it up a little bit, but you know. Uh, we never tried Sonic Class Riot. Uh, you know the Sonic Class. Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. Yeah, that one hasn't uh, hasn't come up yet. But we'll do it one of these days for sure. Well, um, we can maybe even try that one tonight if we can. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. All right, we'll all right, I'll let you go. I'll all right, my friend. Now. Thank you, Beetlejuice. You have used a fantastic night, my friend. All right. Bye, everyone in chat. I'll tell you how my play is tomorrow. Yeah, let me know. Smooch is for you. All right, you go. <laughs> Bye. Blues. Yes, indeed, yes. Beetlejuice, thank you so much for calling in, my friend. Play extraordinaire. I've been trying to figure out why the Sock Up Rocks thing doesn't... Uh, why is it not forwarding correctly? Thank you guys so much for watching the ads. Be sure to buy all the products uh, featured in those. Master Meatball, ahoy! Oh yeah! Ahoy there, Master Meatball. Smooches for yees. Yeah! Love the uh, tag yeah. on the side step. Yes, indeedios. Yes, indeedios. I don't know why that uh, that part's not working. They actually they go to different spots. But now that one uh, doesn't go anywhere. So, what's going on, Major Chaos? Good to see you, my friend. That's where Sock Hop Rocks is supposed to take you, right there. That's my M mm page, which is a lot of fun. If you guys haven't messed around with uh, with M mm dot page yet, it's free, and you can make use uh, like a little website. It's a, it's sort of like a like if GeoCities back in the day was very user friendly super cool that's true just another blowhard yes it is that was how he wanted people to say ahoy instead of uh, hello but then everybody said hello and he said 
Well, all right then. I saw that just to the blowout. Yeah, please sign the guest book, Leeson. That's right. <laughs> Trying to get that uh, that counter up. Metfest 2024. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you so much for following. Very kind of you. Metfest 2024. There we go. What is Metfest? I'm very interested. Let me give a uh, let me give a look at that. Oh, Metfest is live. Look at that. Washington, D.C., June 1st at the Entertainment Sports Arena. Look at that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Entertainment and Sports Arena in Washington, D.C. Go to MetFest.com for tickets. Thank you so much, my friend. Very kind of you. Uh, what was I doing? I was talking to Bill Juice. Oh, of course. I followed you too, Metfest 2024. That's awesome. Looking forward to Friday night game night, Field. Yeah, we're going to play some ducks. That's right. That's what we're doing, Iceman and Wall. Going to race some ducks. The mob wants ducks, and the mob rules. Apparently, the mob wants ducks. <laughs> Thank you, robot. Ooh, yeah. Very much appreciated. We'll play some ducks. Why not? Why not? Yeah. I love ducks. You love ducks. L.A. Ooh, Knight loves yeah. ducks. Macho Man Randy Savage loves ducks. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. So now I gotta open up the uh, computer. Open up ducks.exe. Oh my goodness gracious! Thank you so much, Justin the Bullhorn, for next caller in yourself. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm the mob. Also fart. Oh my goodness, Brady Fabulous. Thank you so much, my friend. Hey, that'd be a lot of fun. In the Washington, D.C. area. I don't know if I'll uh, if I'll be able to make it out there, but that'll be a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Matt. That's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Aww. Super cool of you. Who knows? Maybe what I'll make it out there. What does the duck say? What does the duck say? Quack 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 That's kind of fun to do. Do that. If there's nobody around you, try it. You go quack 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 It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. A hype train gimmick has started. Oh my goodness gracious, thank you so much. Always drive the speed limit. That's 100 percent correct. 100% correct. Never speeding. Never. Phil, oh, you got it. Oh, yeah. You got it. Now we got a hype train. Now we got us a hype train going. Look at that. Scotty B518. Smooches for you, my friend. Thank you so much for hanging around. I hope you have a grand old day at work, even though you got to be there at 5 a.m. What do we think about going to work at 5 a.m., kids? Couldn't have said it better myself. Goodness gracious. Let me tuck you in, Scotty B518. Smooches for you, my friend. Sleep the sleep of the righteous. Sleep tight. Do not let the bed bugs bite. Snug as a pug in an ug. Adorable. Adorable. Oh my goodness, Brenda Fabulous. Brenda Fabulous loves you. Sako Dance. Thank you so much, Brenda Fabulous. That was so kind of you, my friend. I love you. I've been seeing some, uh, some good updates. Seems like things have been going good in Brenda Fabulous land. I like Jolt that. Jolt Freak is great because Jolt Freak gifted a subscription to Bearded Underscore Brothers. Bearded Undergo Underscore Brothers? Jolt Freak, do you know Bearded Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> Some happy reunions. I love to see it, Brenda. Love You'll always it. be my favorite Twitch streamer. Sako Heart Move Sako Dizzy Burn Sako Dance. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you so much, my friends. Ari Bobari, smooch is for yours. Uh oh, Commodore Friday. Talking about some hype, Ham! 
Buy this sock a ham, Yerald ham, Yerald ham, Yerald ham. Yerald ham, Yerald ham, Yerald ham. Power ham! Jolt Freak knows about Power Ham by Dubby. By Dubby. P Chops 100. Oh, thank you so much, P Chops. P Chops and Pants O'Clock. That's what I imagine you guys are sitting like right next to each Have other. Have all my bits, you crazy sock. Thank you so much, Pants O'Clock. Smooches for you. Buy this uh -oh. sock a ham, Yerald Ham, Yerald Ham, Yerald Ham. Yerald Ham, Yerald Ham, Yerald Ham. Power Ham! Jolt Freak knows about Power Ham by Dubby. By Dubby. P Chops 100. Oh, thank you so much, P Chops. P Chops and Pants O'Clock. That's what I imagine you guys are sitting like right next to each Have other. All my bits you, <laughs> you guys all sit next to each other. That's because awesome. Brenda Fabulous gifted a subscription to D0C underscore Rob. Look at that, Doc Rob. Now you ain't got to watch those dadgum ads anymore. Thank you so much, Brenda Fabulous. My goodness gracious. That's right. Oh, Legion knows what's up. Power ham. Oh, we got a phone call. Hello, caller. You're on the air. How can I help you? Suck up. This is Katori Nekogen. I just Katori want to let you know there is a museum in Richmond, Virginia mm -hmm. that has the oldest ham that's around. It's been around since the early 1900s. Wait a minute. The oldest it's ham? still there. Yeah. It, it was this gentleman who had the oldest ham. He carried it around like a pet. You showed it off to friends, Fuches. and it's in a museum in Richmond, two, Virginia yes, today. Oh my goodness gracious, an oldest ham? Yeah. I had I no idea. So what, what is it? Be within... I would love to oh, see that old ham. Is it a power ham? That's, see, I'm not sure, but I thought that you would want to know about Virginia here. Oh, I'd give it a nibble for sure. I would love to. In yeah. Virginia. What's the yeah. name of the museum? I, I, see, I'm, I'm looking it up. I can't find it. Oh. Okay. Virginia Ham Museum. Um, gonna try the old Google. Virginia Ham Museum. I like that. That's, that's a fun thing to Google. I don't care what comes up. I'm gonna be clicking that link. Yeah. 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 The Isle of Wight County Museum in Smithfield, Virginia. Wait, Smithfield? Oh. The people that make the hams? It could be. That's what Commodore Friday says. But you know Commodore Friday. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm sure he's... Or I'm sure they know what's going on. I thought there was a... World's oldest edible ham in Smithfield, Virginia. Yeah, that looks... So yeah, Smithfield it. makes hams. I've, I've eaten their hams before. Had That's a great old time. The oldest ham has a webcam. My God. Okay, well. This is the I, best news I've heard all day. There's far more to this than I knew. But I'm so pleased to have brought it up. Yeah, I'm glad you brought attention. it up because I would have no idea. I would have no yeah. idea. So, you know, okay, well, I shall let you go and I'll watch the rest of the show. But which is to you. Oh, smooches to you, my friend. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate Goodbye. that. I appreciate it. Here, talking to you. Bye-bye. <laughs> yes, indeed. World's oldest ham. Oh, my goodness. Great. Is that, is that true? Oh, it's night and the lights are off there. Oh, well, that's no good. Oldest hamster in captivity. No, I didn't say... Dad, gum autocorrect made it world's oldest hamster. That's not what I'm talking about. Miss B3. Thank you so much, my friend. Oh, wait. Smoot, Smoot put some links in. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. World's oldest peanut. Wait, what? Recent episodes of our ham cam. Ham cam! Oh, yeah, it's dark. You can't see squat right now. The lights are turned off on the ham. recent episode. Well, all right then. Whatever. Good afternoon and welcome to Live at 12.05. I'm Tracy Necker, curator of the 
It's a nest cam. Oh, download? Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. We can do that. The world's oldest peanut. Oh, wait. Here we go. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's a man holding a ham. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, here we go. Wait, hold on. All right, get, I'm, o I'm overwhelmed with ham right now. Overwhelmed with ham. But here we go. I want you guys to see this guy. This is, uh, I believe this is the lead singer of Tool holding a ham. Ham. All right, let me see. We gotta open this ham. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. Look at that. Look at that man. Look at that man. Enjoying some ham. Look at that ham. Why is why is the ham chained up? Are they afraid the ham is going to run away? Are they afraid that I am going to eat the ham? Because that is something that they should be afraid of. Because I will eat the ham. I don't care how elderly the ham is. The ham could be older than me. Here we go. This is the ham cam. The lady, she's talking about, uh, she's talking about a, a, a peanut, something. But, but there's the ham right there. There we go. Thank you guys so much for the hype, hype diddly trade. Fifty Shades of, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the ham cam. This is a past episode of the ham cam. This is not live. She does have a tiny microphone. At the end, she says, Be sure to have your petrified ham spayed or neutered. Is an Isle of Wight, Virginia. And I get, I don't know, I guess one of these things are the ham? Or maybe they're the three oldest hams? I'm not sure. She's jibber jabbering about a peanut. Don't mind, never mind her. She's not important. The important part. Is these old hams? Oh, the ham in the center is the ham. Look at that! Look at that guy! Look at that guy gazing upon the ham. Oh, look! Oh, look at that ham! He says, "Well, oh, that's a that's an old ham right there." Oh, the, oh, you, oh, the middle one. That's an old, an old ham. Wow! What an old ham! Can I have a bite? No, go away. You cannot have a bite of the ham. Maybe if I just had a little bite of the ham, that would be okay. No, you can't have a little bite of the ham. If we gave everybody a little bite of the ham, the ham would be gone. Well, then I will go away. Good afternoon and welcome to live at 12.05. He teleported. The one on the far side, I think, was the instrument caveman's balked thing. It does look like Captain Caveman balked some people with that one for sure. That must be like some, uh, some dead gum, uh... What is it? It's a woolly mammoth's ham or something like that. That's what that looks like. But, but I can't, I can't get over this guy right here. Well, first of all, look at that guy looking like he's, like he's not, not interested in the oldest ham. Oh, I'm just gonna look over here for a minute. I'm just making my way. You purchased the ham for that? You most certainly did, Arbo Boy. Goodness gracious! Let me see what you got uh, here. It's a ham nana. Ham nana. Bahama. Yeah, you can't you can't be too overt about ogling the ham. That's true. That's that's just basic etiquette right there. Emily Post. That was the first chapter. Do not ogle the ham. The whole museum seems ham fisted hot diggity dog. Oldest ham in the museum that happens to be what the museum is known for. And he just dilly dally. He's like, oh, let me just look at this other stuff. Oh, what's this? An old ham? I did not know that that was here. Didn't know that was here. Don't get fresh with the old ham. Whoops. Now we got us a banana. Banhammer. Boop. 
Head away he goes. Head away he goes. Bahama Hammock. That's always good to have. And there's uh, Mayda James Keenan holding his prized ham. CSI computer. What does that say? What is that? Is that a dog tag on the ham? What does that say? Look at this cat. <laughs> hey, let me take your picture. Put on your put on your ham holding face. Can you tell I'm happy to be holding this ham? Oh, uh, these glasses are new. Hey, what about the hat? Is it too much? Is the hat too much? Lynn Manuel Merhamda, because you want to write the musical Hamilton Legion. You're on fire tonight, my friend. Absolutely on fire. <laughs> Mood over my hammy. Here's a dead gum uh, buffoon over my hammy right there. Look at that, man. Holding that ham with all the the dignity that it deserves. We're about to see the teleporting ham man again. That's what ham does. Old ham. My ham and fire. Oh man. Now that's how you get me to click a link right there. Ham and bio. Live at I would totally take a link to your only hams. Would you like to see my only hams page? It's me holding up big meaty hams. Oh, wouldn't you love to have a bite of this ham? Too bad. You cannot eat the ham. It is for eyeballs only, not mouths. Uh, Look at his face. No, this is real. This is a real picture. I took it myself back in the day. Oh, there. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Thank you so much, Smoot. Atlas Obscura. For the win. Let's bring that picture in. Hold on. Give me a uh, two shakes of a ham's tail. I love bringing this picture of the ham. Here we go. There's a more modern picture of the of the ham. Dad, come Click on the. Th there we go. Which still has its tag on it. Look at this. No, we're not skipping ducks. We're gonna play, we're gonna play at least uh, at least one duck race. Look at that. What does that say? Ball team's pet ham. I'll stop you, ham man. A cardboard cutout of a guy holding a ham. Smooth. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Good gracious. afternoon, and welcome to Live at 12.05. It's his pet I'm ham. That's why it's on a leash, quarter of a Negro Champ, because it's his pet ham. Let me bring in this picture of the cardboard cutout. Now, you guys, you guys got to see this. This is the kind of content that you watch the Sock Hop Show for. Look, there he is. There he is, holding the ham. He's a little bit more serious in the cardboard cutout. A little more serious. PBS. Wait, what, what in the world is that? <laughs> what is ham guy doing now? What is ham guy doing now? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got it. We just got a new picture of ham man. New picture of ham man. Look at this. I think he may be a villain. Look at this. Him and his pet ham and a stack of cash. Look at that. Look at that. And look at that. <laughs> Hamman ain't easy. Ham man's a spit. Maybe. He's got fat stacks. He got old ham and fat stacks, baby. You think you can compete with that? I got that old ham money. You know what you could buy with that? You know what you could buy with that kind of money? You could buy you power ham. Oh, it's, all the things are in front of the, the light. <laughs> 
<laughs> With my ham on my money, yeah, my money on my ham. That's right, Commodore Friday. Man, you guys are all on fire tonight. Ain't rich, but I'm ham rich. <laughs> oh, man. You're his teacher. Amir, you teach ham, man? Look at this guy. Well, that's the same face right there. Oh, it's the same picture. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Good to see you, Samir. The granddaddy of all speeders is here. So, uh, if you don't mind, I would just like to say... Oh! <laughs> get out of here with your garbage. There it is. Wait, no! Wait, no, do it again. Wait a minute. There we go! Get out of here with your garbage. Get out of here with your garbage. Get in here with your old hams. And get out of here with your garbage. Yeah, this does. I don't know. This is like a ham jerky, but it does say somebody's pet ham. Oh, thank you so much, Smoot. There we go. And there's a picture of the ham. And a pic wait, what is that one on the left? Oh, the largest ham in 1955 by Charles Henry Gray. Man, old hams. Who would have thought? Yeah, let's bring in that picture, too. Gotta have that one. I can't rob you of this cultural experience. Boom, shaka lock, and now we got three hams. Three hams will kill him. Three hams will trill him. Why don't you feed him? Three hams. Man, look at those old hams. Yeah, thank you, Carter Nico Chat. That's the largest ham. Could you imagine? What kind of pig? Did that come from a pig? If the ham museum caught on fire, it would be tragic, but smelled deli- It would. It would. That would be the first- I would run in there. And go, well. All the rules, you know, everything's off the table now. I'm eating that ham. That must have been, was it? A, gen a genetically modified ham, is that what it is? Was that ham bitten by a radioactive spider or something like that? The incredible ham. Then the ham would be sm- that's true. Wow. Look at these hams. Amaranth would eat the ham. That's true. See, now that's how you would make me watch a Indiana Jones movie. Nick Lee, good to see you, my friend. Welcome in. We're talking about old hams. Old hams. With, uh, jewelry. This is, uh, Baltine's pet ham. Or Baltney's, what, Galt, Galt, Galtney's, Gatley's, Sammy, Somebody's pet ham. I'm not sure. Oh, Gwaltney. Thank you so much. Gwaltney. That's how you get me to watch an Indiana Jones movie. This belongs in a museum. It belongs in a museum. Indiana Jones and the, and the world's oldest ham. I'll be first in line to buy a ticket to that movie. Even though Indiana Jones is the worst archaeologist that ever lived. And is terrible at his job. Look at that right there. That's that's a that's profile picture worthy right there. The Temple of Ham, Raiders of the Lost Ham. Oh. What's that one movie where the, the big giant boulder runs after? What if it was a big ham? Great big ham barreling down. Oh man. That aimed the ham, Indiana! That's what they did. Named the Ham Indian. Yeah, we got we got to do a. Uh... Oh, we got to do a duck race or two before we get out of here. Kingdom of the Crystal Ham. That one got bad reviews. I heard. That's right, Nick Lee. Whoop, whoops, the daisies. Whoops, 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 whoops. 
All right, there we go. No time for ham, Dr. Joe. Oh, I like <laughs> Man. What's going on, Sniper? Good to see us. Crystal ham had too much heartburn, hence the bad review. Well, that's how they saved the crystal ham, was they put it in the refrigerator, and then it survived the nuclear blast. And that's why it got all ham-like. All the best parts are in the hot dog anyway. That's true. After this stream, I will be building a small Lego Mars rover to whomever wants to watch. Well, you know, maybe I'd watch if you did a life-size one. But I appreciate you letting me know. Thank you so much. Your old dad! Your old dad with the ham. What's going on, my friend? Your uh, your ham emote has been getting a lot of uh, a lot of play here tonight. I appreciate you making that. Done fantastic. Lilena, good to see us. I saw you earlier. Man, there's not a whole lot. We've been doing a lot of a lot of ham talk about the world's oldest ham. Exclamation point quack to put your duck in the pond. But look at this. Look at this. I just want to show you real quick. I don't know if you was here for all of the ham imagery. There's the world's oldest ham right there. It's in a museum. There it is uh, in the museum next to the world's largest ham. And here is a, uh, there's a guy, there's a cardboard cutout of the guy holding the ham. Yeah. And then there's a picture of all the money that he made from the ham. Yeah. And there he is holding the ham. Look at that. Look at like, look at that, look at that proud papa. Holding that ham like he grew it himself. Man. Oh, yeah. I think that'd be a good tattoo right there. I chained this. Yep. I did a thing. That's what it would be. His name is, uh, ah, somebody said it. I forget exactly what it is. Harold or something like that. Ham man. That's what I call him anyways. Ham man. Still got time to put a duck in the pond. Another couple of seconds. Exclamation point quack. Put a duck in the pond. And you can also do exclamation point duck hat to change the hat. You can do exclamation point duck name. Change your duck's name if you want to. Quack. Yes, indeed. Your old dad, man. So good to see you, my friend. I will not eat that ancient ham. I will not eat it, sock I am. Socko hard move. I will not eat that ancient ham. I will not eat it, sock I am. But I will eat that ancient ham. I will eat it. Anywhere in the land. I will consume the ham right here. I will consume the ham over there. Oh my goodness gracious, that's the Easter one. That is hilarious. Here we go. There's the Easter ham. Let me let me let me bring this in. Thank you, Smoot. Bring this to my attention. Uh you're not really a cop. Right? Nick Lee, how dare you? How dare you say that? Of course I am. You see the hat? Look at that hat. What does that hat say? It says, I don't know, I can't see it because it's green screen and that. Oh, that's large. That's a large. There we go. Look at him. He's the world's oldest ham, which is uh, celebrating Easter. The traditional Easter food, a ham which is a very religious day about rabbits and eggs and eggs don't rabbits don't lay eggs but the rabbit brings eggs and uh the thing i'm not sure sniper are there more ads good lord i'm gonna turn the dadgum thing on Uh oh look at this a new development Ladies and gentlemen, it has been brought to my attention that the world's oldest ham has now become sentient. Brenda Fabulous is great because Brenda Fabulous gifted a subscription to Sniper underscore Boo. Sniper underscore Kaboo. Thank you so much, Brenda Fabulous. Smooch is for you, my friend. Very kind of you. Look at it. Look, it's, uh, it's grown legs. It's grown stringy purple legs. And it's got its shoes, its shoes on backwards or something like that. I don't know what's going on with them shoes. Back at it with a James. What are those? 
What are those? Breaking news, sock hop lays eggs. I do? That's breaking news to me. I didn't know I laid eggs. Heck yeah, that's going to save me some money. Wait, is it weird to eat your own eggs? I feel like that's weird. Well, that's a conversation for another time. Here we go. Let's start this race. Beep, beep, beep. And off we go. Jolt the Freak is out in front. We got some eggs pushing people around. Oh, my goodness gracious. Drew and Andrew. That sounds very stout, my friend. Be very careful. Be very careful. Wait, there's ha Wait, what happened to Ham? What, wait, what's going on with Ham? I've never seen that happen. Wait, what is, what is happening? Look at that. We got a glitch in the Matrix. Look at Ham. Oh, my goodness gracious. Ham. Oh, my good. Ham cheated. Ham cheated. What in the world? That I feel like that's like serendipitous. Seren, serendip, dip, dip, diplitus. All this ham talk and ham just literally floats through all of the gimmicks and wins the. I don't even think ham actually crossed the finish line. But look at look at what it says. Number one, ham. The one true ham has risen. That seriously was a power ham. Wow. Amazing. That was you, just another blowhard? Gad Zooks, my friend. Gad Zooks. Golly gee willikers. Man, talk, talk about ducking harder. No, wait. Ducking smarter and not, not harder. Smoot, I, I agree. I agree. Acknowledged. The tribal ham. The ham line. Oh my, I can't believe that. I've never seen that before. We've played over 60 hours of duck races. Which I know isn't, isn't a lot to some of you big streamers. Who's, who stream 60 hours Acknowledge a day. Acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. Cody Ham beat the Chief. Yeah, he sure did. He sure did. Florida Girl 1776. Good to see you, my friend. Now we got Ham. So Ham cheated and won. And now we got Candied Ham. Coming around. No ducks left behind. Is that you, Nyala? Are you Candied Ham? You didn't get stuck. Well, maybe you did, but you're unstuck now. Wait a minute. Where'd you go? Where are you? There you are. There you are. Come on, candied ham. Any day now, you just gotta go across the finish line. In a very chronic way, Druid Andrew. Yes. Candied ham. On the way to the finish line. Here we go. Come on. No ducks left behind. Come on, candied ham. You got it. You're almost there. Almost there. Almost there, buddy. Congratulations, Caden Ham. The winner of the Sock Hop going at a reasonable speed award. That's a beautiful thing. A very beautiful thing. But, of course, the winner is the Cheetah Ham. Power Ham. Jolt the Freak in second place. Iceman NYR, Ooh, yeah. your old dad in fourth place. St. Michael ran it at the top five. We got Quack Nicholson, one of my favorite uh, yeah. actors. One of my favorite Quackers. Hamlet, yeah. Club Ham TV, Quackquisition, no one yeah. expects it. A Brenda Farpulous, Cordery Nico Ham, oh! Yeah. Fantastic. We got Ham Man in lucky number 13th, LeQuack, Dop Online, Pons of Quack, Quacky Onassis. <laughs> That's a new one. Quacky Onassis. <laughs> Silver Jim, MC Hammer. When you're an MC Hammer, every problem looks like an MC Nail. We got Lelina in 20th. 
the mighty Phil Gamo in 21st. Slapstick 85. Soxie, I know it's Smoot in 24th. And we got Candied Ham, the winner of the Sock Hop going at a reasonable speed award. Yes, indeed. A fantastic race, everybody. Fantastic. We're going to do the snow level now. Why are so many characters ham based? Well, Beetlejuice 509, yes. Exclamation quack, point quack. quack. Put a duck in the pond. Drew it, Andrew. Quack. Quack, quack. High quack. as a kite wants to know about uh, quack, quack. ham. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, Look at this. This is the world's oldest ham. Quack, quack. And this was forever quack. ago. It's in a museum now. There it is in the museum. Uh, right betwixt the world's largest ham. Quack. And then I don't know what's special about the the ham on the right. I don't know what it says. It's too it's too small for me to read. Maybe Smoot knows. Cause he sent me the picture. Oh, whoops the daisies. Quack. We did, we just like ham really. That's really that's really what it's all about. You would break in and eat the ham? Well I wouldn't blame you. I know. It's, I just I tried. I tried zooming it in. I got the CSI computer to enhance it and everything. I could not figure out what it says. It's right. It's right over his shoulder. You got a bouse in your pocket? Not that I know of. And there's a uh, Gwaltney's pet ham. It was his pet ham. You know, some people have a pet ham, and and people, uh, you know, they call them weirdos. And make him live on the outskirts of the village. But this man had a pet ham and they put it at the Dad Gum Museum. You know what I mean? It's all about who you know, really. It's all about who you know. Still a couple of seconds to put a duck in the pond with exclamation point quack. Oh, Smoot, thank you so much for the history. Pembroke D. Gwaltney Jr. made the piece of pork his pet ham. He put a brass collar on it and paraded it around various expositions to prove to customers his meat could be kept without being refrigerated. Goodness gracious. The ham was lost for 20 years in the back of a packing house before Pembroke found it. Hot diggity dog! <laughs> lost my ham for 20 years again. Oh, I hate when that happens. When you lose a ham for 20 years. Oh. Just the worst. Just the worst. Unbelievable. Man, what a good gimmick. I love a good gimmick. Any chance we can stop talking about... Oh, I'm sorry, Brenda Fabulous. There is a chance that we can stop uh, talking about ham. But it, it's kind of a low chance. Kind of a low chance, to be honest with you. But we can race ducks and talk about hams. Here we go in three, two, one. There we go. Ham farts, baby. I know, right? 20 years is a long weekend for a McNugget. Oh, <laughs> you're right. You're not wrong about that one. There goes the eggs. An egg bopped Beetlejuice right in the face. Dop, you forgot to quack. Oh. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Oh yeah, this corner is sponsored by Star Ducks. The Ducks Choice. Drew and Andrew, the eggs, they don't really do much. They can like bump into you, I guess. But this is uh the Easter update. They just put out the Easter update like like the day of Easter and it's still uh it's still around. So they get in the way, but they gotta go faster than everybody else. So they don't really cause too much mayhem. I think they're supposed to cause mayhem. See, there's a few of them still bouncing around. See, they'll bump into you. Whoa! That was like a magnetic egg or something like that. But we got everybody moving around to cause someone to hop the course and went. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's what happened. Maybe the egg caused him uh, to glitch out, and he just ran directly towards the finish line. Which is, I mean, it's smart. That's a way to win a race. Just forget the whole thing. If 
we're talking about ham, asking Yala about Canadian bacon. Oh, I love Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon is also ham. There's a scratch on the screen. Where's the scratch? Ain't no scratch. Oh, 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 that, 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 oh, that guy. Boop. Gone. Gonna ham you. Uh oh. Yala's gonna ham you, buddy. Better watch out. You don't wanna get it hammed right here in front of everybody. That'd be no good. Uh oh, looks like Speedy. Speedy is the winner, yes, the DDOs. Thought you blew pixels just so the blow hard. Well, maybe I should have kept it going then. Maybe I should have said, I don't know what you're talking about. It must be your phone. How is he so speedy? I don't know. Speedy done did it, though. Speedy done did it again, living up to his name. Sort of like Speed Racer. Isn't it crazy how Speed Racer grew up to become a race car driver? What are the odds? What would have happened if his parents named him, you know, Grocery Checkout Man? Would he still be racing? What's in a name? That's what I'm trying to say. There's a town near us called Rain Ham. Every time Chops and I see it on the side, we say, It's Rain and Ham. Hallelujah, it's Rain and Ham. Amen. <laughs> That's awesome. David Dunn, good to see you, my friend. Oh, yeah, Racer X. Yeah, they named their first son Rex. They wanted him to grow up to be a Tyrannosaurus. Uh, but, uh, you know, not all dreams can come true. Would I be a cop if I wasn't called Sock Cop? You know, Niala, that's a very good question. Very good question. I don't know. Some things just work out that way. Speedy is the winner. Congratulations, my friend. Let me see. What do we got? Uh, what do we got for that? What do we got for winning the race? We got the... The Frog of First Place. There you go. We also got Beetlejuice in second. Silver Jim... X Smam X Love it Wouldn't that be weird St. Michael Drew and Andrew ran out the yeah. top 5 We got Hammy Potter Hammy no whammy no whammy no whammy Hammy the biscuit Hammy the biscuit Oh Ooh, man you ever yeah. had You know how they make chicken on a biscuit yeah. You ever had those What if they yeah. made ham on a biscuit Ooh I bet that'd be good Slapstick 85 we got Pons of Quack Andy Quacko Takai. Oh my goodness gracious. The mighty Phil Gamo. Ham and beans. Ooh, yeah. Saint Michael. We got ham in 15th. Brenda Fartbillis, who is the who does not like ham. Brenda yeah. Fartbillis does not like ham. Yeah. Quack Nicholson. There's Lelena. Yeah. In 18th. Iceman NYR. Club Duck TV. And the winner of the Sock Up going at a reasonable speed award. Your friend and mine. Hammy Pants. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Ben Fabulous does not like ham. Is it just because you don't uh, you just don't like the taste of it? Religious reasons? Did a ham bully you in school? Alright, last one. This is the bathtub royale. Yeah. Now this is a little bit different than a race. This is more like a a demolition derby. But still the same. I just know the blowhard smooches for you, my friend. Are oh, you just not a ham fan? Oh, okay. I understand that. I understand that. I don't really like tomatoes, so. You know. To each their own. Steve Studnuts, good to see you, my friend. It's been a while. Steve Studnuts. What a great name. So you can still add your hat, change your name, do whatever you want to do. Uh, but instead of a race, basically what goes around is the water starts filling up in this tub right here. And you bump into one another, sort of like yeah. a bumper cars, demolition derby type thing. There were various other obstacles yeah. that come up. Mo Rocca! It's exclamation point quack, Mo Rocca. Come on now. Then there's a, yeah. a boat. It'll come down yeah. that can run you over. There's a, a whirlpool that shows up later. Oh, you know? Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'll just... 
Canadian bacon is ham. It is. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. It's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery. Or rewrite history. Duck tails. Woo! Silver Jim. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Smooches for you, my friend. Somehow my comments get missed a lot. Maybe I need to bribe the sock cop. Couldn't hurt. Silver Jim, thank you so much, my friend. Did not mean to miss your comment. But there was there was a uh there was a good twenty to thirty minutes there of very intense ham talk. And I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention to the uh to the chat. So that that was my bad. That was that was ham induced mania is what that was. Mainly about eating ham. Well, not mainly about eating ham. That is a that is a, I would say it's a third of it. Yeah, Mo was the lawyer. That was the gimmick then. But we sort of retired that gimmick. Uh, simply because I think a lot of people thought that she was actually a lawyer. So then, so then whenever I'd be like, oh, thanks for the bits. People were like, why are people giving you bits? You live with a lawyer. You don't need bits. But I'm like, no, 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 no. She's not really a lawyer. I need them. I need them biddies. Pay the phone bill. So we sort of retired there. Let's excuse all future ham gimmicks. Very good, Brenda Fabulous. Very good. So we're going to bounce into each other. Oh, and also, if you get uh, yeeted out of the tub, which is uh, a very real possibility, if you touch the floor, you're eliminating. Ham Lena! Oh, that's fantastic. Love it. There we go. All right, last one of the evening. Useless assistant, still useless though. Unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, that that one's true. <laughs> that one's true, Smith. Lawyer was not really a lawyer, but the useless assistant, very much useless uh, on all fronts. <laughs> Here we go. Hammer, lemma, ding dong. And start the race. We got Ducky Do. There's Peach Hops, Egg Ryan, Lunch Meat, Notorious H A M, Jellied Ham, Hamlina. Brenda Farbulous eliminated Drew and Andrew right off of the bat. Goodness gracious. Brenda Farbulous really angry about this whole ham gimmick. Brenda Farbulous eliminated Smoot, but then Smoot also eliminated Brenda Farbulous. Mutually discured, mut wait, mutually assured ham struction. Ah, ham it, Mayor of Canada. <laughs> yeah, there was some shaking. Some shank, whole lot of shanking going on. There's Speedy Ducky. Saint Michael eliminated Speedy, bringing the hammer down. Goodness gracious, I love it. Oh, I love it. Peach Hops eliminated by Egg Ryan. Cordery Nickel Chan eliminated Egg Ryan. Immediate instant karma for Egg Ryan. Did a murder and then got married. Mur 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 murdering. A lot going on there. Twelve ducks left. The spoons are now in yeeting range. Ham and a biscuit. An internal yeetage. Oh, look at that. Cordery Nico ham yeeted. Steve Stud Dutz yeeted. It's down to seven. And now we got the whirlpool to worry about. Whirlpool is instant death. You don't want to touch that whirlpool. You don't want to touch that boat either. Oh, goodness gracious. Lunch meat and ham and a biscuit eliminated by the whirlpool. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh, look at that. The boat got yeeted. That's good news. We're down to five. We're down to four. Karen Susie. Tubby Chicka just got yeeted. Down to two. It's Iceman in my arm and jellied ham. Who's that gonna be, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, and videos. Iceman and Wa'ar and Jellied Ham. Mo Rocker, yes I do. Iceman and Wa'ar, Jellied Ham. Who's it gonna be? Jellied Ham headed for the headed for the Whirlpool. Watch out. Watch out for that. But Iceman and Wa'ar going towards the Yeetin' Spoons. Made it through the Yeetin' Spoons, but now he is headed for the Whirlpool. Is it gonna go the, the wide way around and get saved towards the other set of Yeetin' Spoons? Iceman and Wa'ar just going right through all. Wow, my goodness gracious. What a yeet! And it's jellied ham with the win. Way to go! 
Bobby may have the meats, but the boat got the yeats. Way to go, Jellied Ham. That's what I'm talking about. The last duck standing, Jellied Ham. And he's still alive right now. Still alive. Canada one rigged. Well, it's that uh, Canadian bacon for you. What? Well, not that. Well, and now everybody's dead. Now everybody's dead. But still, that doesn't change the fact that Jellied Ham won. Canada won once again. The streak continues. Congratulations to Jellied Ham for winning a very, very close one. Third ham on the far right is Branding Ham, circa 1930. It's branded because other manufacturers try to pass off their product as Smithfield Ham. How dare you? How dare you try to be a ham pirate? Mm -mm 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 -mm. You want to make a background like this? Oh, yeah, smooth. Go ahead. I can just send you this file if you want to. It's an MP4. Pretty fancy. I don't mean to brag, but I do have MP4s. Take your place on the winner's pony ham, Mayor of Canada. Hot dog. You guys are on fire. Well, that's cheating. Well, pretty fabulous. Not about that ham gimmick. Not about that ham gimmick. I understand. I understand. Ham ain't everybody's jam. That's what they say. Well, there's a good chance nobody said that until just now. But we learned a lot about ham tonight, whether you love it or hate it. We learned a lot a about A gallon ham. of tiny corns. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed, yos. Thank you guys. Goodness gracious. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Yeah. This was. Yeah. This was more fun than it had any right to be. More fun than it had any right to be. To do all of the all of the Ooh, yeah. all of the ham talk, even though Brenda Fabulous wasn't a fan. Just too much of that good fun. Calicott, I enjoyed it as well. Thank you guys so much for hanging around. We'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is a very special show because my friend uh, Michael McAuliffe. Is going to be on the show. He's going to be in the TV right there where Rupert is. His band, The Handsome Scoundrels, uh, one of my favorite bands of all time, they are releasing some new music. So we're going to talk about that and uh, and see what's going on with The Handsome Scoundrels tomorrow. Going to be That's part okay, of the show. I'm a soccer fan. Oh, my goodness gracious, Brenda Fabulous. Thank you so much, my friend. Smooches. And also. And also. And also. Oh, we, di we didn't get around to the animal today. Did not get around to it. Tomorrow we will. Ham some scoundrels. That's what I'm talking about. Animal of the day was the ham. Yeah, for sure. The animal of the day was definitely the ham. The ham. All right, we're going to raid our pal uh, Just Another Blowhard, Beetlejuice. Going to raid our pal Just Another Blowhard. He's building some Legos. He's just getting started on his streaming journey. So give him some love. Jane Cerami Art, the newly affiliated. Just another blowhard. Building some Legos. Jibba jabbering with his old man glasses. Having a grand old time. Phil Gilmore, thank you so much, my friend. Often imitated, never duplicated. Yeah, the French. Le Ham. Le Ham. Me hui. Brenda Fabulous. Sorry for all the ham talk, Brenda Fabulous. Oh, doing fantastic, James Ramiard. Right, thank you so much for asking, my friend. I appreciate that. If you go into bed, allow me to tuck you in. I'll tuck, 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 Smooches for use. Sleep tight. Do not let the bed bugs bite. Sock Hop loves you. We're going to be right back here tomorrow at 7 o'clock Alabama time. You give time. me the biscuits! Give me the biscuits. We're going to talk about punk rock music. We're going to have some, uh, maybe we'll take some phone calls. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what we're going to get into. And then Friday is game night. What a week we got coming up here on the Sock Hop Show. Sock Hop loves you. We'll Ooh, see you here yeah. soon. Tell him goodnight, old man. Tell them good night. More ham talk. Yeah. Unless Brenda Fabulous uh, says we shouldn't. 
Tell him good night, old man. Here we go. Mwah. Yeah. You and give now, me the folks, biscuit. It's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening yeah. of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.